Hello, hello. Welcome into episode 7 of our fully speedless, no multi-classing run of Baldur's Gate 3 in honor mode. Let's jump into it because I think, if I recall correctly, we left off at a very interesting spot in the last episode. So let's continue here. Yes, in the warg pens. Um, a little heads up before we get into the deep of it, there are timestamp chapters in the video's description and timeline in case you want to skip to the bits that you're interested in watching. And, uh, and yeah, if you want to watch the previous episodes, there should be, if I've done this right and remembered, there should be a playlist linked in the video description below. Uh, but let me see if I can recall what we did in the last episode. And I think we had just rescued Halsin. Yes, there we are. So we had just rescued Halsin from the Garbos. We actually haven't even looted yet. Um, but yes, we've rescued Halsin. I think we've spoken to him. Let me check our journal, which is always a good way to start, I think. Instead of healing us, Priestess got improved. Oh, oh, oh my. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I've actually read that before. Wait, where'd it go? Oh no, <laughs> where's that quest? Uh, okay, I've lost, I've lost the quest already. Um, right, well... Oh, we have Shadow Curse Lens opening up already in Act 1. Um, okay, so we have... We've done quite a bit. Not just in the last episode, but I would say we're making good headway in Act 1 overall. Uh, we're actually coming close to the end. Well, I I call it Act 1 still. Although, there is quite a lot. This game is just so huge. So let's not, let's not dawdle any longer. Um, right. I think what we can do is loot everything here. Let me just double check and speak to Halsin again. The ringleaders have to die. The very natural order of things is in danger. Thanks to them. Right, okay. So, uh, I'm not going to bugger him for information just yet. We'll do that uh, later on. So let's loot everything that we can here. What's he doing over there? Tail. Three. Okay, there, I think. There's, yes, we can loot some stuff in this room. And then we'll we'll head out. So we've we've done away with Ooh, cat supplies. We've done away with um Priestess Gut. So that's one goblin leader. Though. Oh my days! Okay, no, we get to do something very exciting soon. Um which is, we get to set up, oh, we get to set up um, getting Minthara. So, because in, in patch 5, if I don't mess this up, uh, in patch 5, they've made it so that if you do not kill Minthara, um, I, I think there's a way to get her in your party, like to recruit her. Decaying legs protrude from the hole. A failed escape, it seems. Oh, okay. But yeah, sorry, I interrupted myself, as I always do. Um, which is, I think there is, I think we can basically recruit her in, um, in Act 2. So, that's exciting. Um, let's pull the body free, why not? The body comes loose, revealing a tunnel. Perhaps you can escape where he failed. Okay. Uh, sad that he did. Maybe I should have done the investigation role, actually. Um, Still blocked. But should be easy enough to clear. Okay, we have to clear it. Uh, I don't think we need it, though, do we? I am curious. We'll see what's through the hole. I think we come out the other side. Yeah, we do. Okay, we haven't done these. Um, right. So... I'm trying to think what's the best kind of plan of action here. So I think... Okay, Priestess... Pri pri blah, 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 priestess Gut is gone. 
if I go in for Ragslin over here, the whole goblin camp is going to like absolutely be set, up, uh, set off on us. Like everyone's gonna be aggroed instantly. So I don't think I want to do that. Um, so I think we'll have to deal with Minthara and these <laughs> these gobbos first. Um, <laughs> so I do love with Scrut's Scrut and his relationship with the scrying eye is great. Um, so I do want to do away with the scrying eye, which is going to be tricky potentially. Um, and I also may want to kind of wipe out this area here and maybe free this, um, I think he's called, I think he's a heretic, uh, or at least to the, at least to the absolutist he is, um, because he still, I think he's still, Brackle, yes, that's his name, uh, I think he still worships, there you go, faithful of Maglubiet, Maglubiet, yes, I think that's how you pronounce it, but yeah, so that is something that I, I I would like to do. There's no rhyme or reason to it. I free him every Don't time, so... Your horrible sacks of muck. Drow might need us any time. They'd be comfortable since we've been here. I miss the swamp. Proper nice that swamp was. Oh, that's so cute. I've never heard that one before. Um, but yeah, I kind of get rid of all these guys because... I believe that it's a little bit helpful for after we defeat Ragslin. Um, and he's got his little ritual going on. Okay, so I have a couple spell slots left. Let me see what with the Gale wave. is at. Okay, we can actually recover a spell slot too, mind. so that is actually really well, good. So let's do that. And I'm also no, trying to think sure. if there's anything I can do because I think what I will do is I will do a long rest before I take on Ragslin. Because um, again, just for the sake of it, we are playing on honor mode. So I have actively avoided watching any anything outside of like these things have stayed story, like the There's epilogue no with the with the companions and stuff like that. That stuff I've seen bits and pieces. But anything else, mechanics-wise, because I wanted the bit, I wanted this to be like a first experience, um, completely blind. Um, I've avoided like watching or looking at, seeing at all. So <laughs> I, I am actually not sure if there are any changes to this. Like we got a freebie with Priestess Cut, but uh, I don't know if the rest are going to be any much more different. That being said, hang on, we've uh, hang on. We, I, th I believe we freed... Yes, we have freed him. Okay, so we freed Volo. So actually, let's go back to camp. Because I want to start this off. There we go. There he is. Hello, Volo. Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cosy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flares, cultists, and of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> what do you know about mind flares? Why, I'm practically an expert. They've tentacles, you know. Quite shocking. The druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. And they are parasites? Do you know anything about them? As a matter of fact, I do. But why do you? Hmm. Which one should we go with here? I think we're just gonna go with option two here. A mind flayer plants at one of their lava in my brain. That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. If only your disbelief could alter facts. If what you say were true, you'd be a mind flayer by now. You? Infected by a mind flayer? Oh, ridiculous. Isn't it? Hmm. Um, 
Okay, so I do actually want to go through this, so I am going to pick the options that kind of uh, will lead us towards it. Uh, examine me. Find out for yourself. Perhaps that's for the best. I'd be irresponsible not to debunk such a strange claim. And when I say when I want to go through it, this, this being, if you know, you know. If you don't, then you'll see soon enough, I would say. If I just peer in your eye, I could quickly... Oh, my dear sweet gods! <laughs> Quit the shouting. Can you help? I mean, yes. I suppose I can. I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time, and I'll have this little issue sorted. All right, nice. Okay, so Volo has decided to remain in our camp, having l such a learned scholar <laughs> nearby might be useful. Yeah, learned scholar, sure. All right, so, I mean, the funny thing is Volo is... When I first met him, I obviously did not have the best first impression. But at the same time, I don't hate him. I feel like I should hate him, but I don't. But you know that, that's, uh, that's good character writing for you, I suppose. But yeah, no, he, um, there's something about it. I mean, he is a bard, right? So he's got that, he's got that charm. He's got that, I don't know if I would use the word riz, but he's definitely got a charm to him. Uh, right. Okay, we've done the warg pens. I don't want to cause a ruckus here. Ooh. Well, no, because that locks out a merchant. Okay, so I do want to do one merchant refresh before I go for Ragslin. And I do want to do another thing before I go for Ragslin. So let me see where we are at. Okay, we need 959 XP. So there's one other kind of instance that I can think of that we can do before we kind of set off the goblin camp if we need the XP. But otherwise, I am going to head over to this end of the camp and kind of see if I can take out these, uh, take out these gobbles here. It would be great if we could level up, um, before we take on Ragslin. Because Minthara is not too bad. Minthara and the, the lot over on the other end aren't that bad. Let me turn off all the here lanterns here. Oh god, I can't actually... Um, I can't actually scrub this, uh, this bit here, can I? I usually have to kind of find the best position for this bit here. I want to get all six of them attracted to this corner, so let me see if I can stand, maybe if I stand here. This might, hopefully, get all six of them. Fingers crossed. This, this one's not. Oh, we got, we got all this though. Okay, they are not really standing in a great position right now, but it's fine. We're gonna have to use that here, Staria. And time to waste. I think Shadowheart we'll can stand here. Okay, now we got Gil, Gil the man. I think he could go a little bit closer. Oh, I feel bad for the rat! <laughs> oh no, the rat! I'm so sorry, ratty! Oh, that's on me. That's gonna be on me. I, I will... Ah, oh, good lord. Oh, I feel so bad for the poor rat, honestly. Okay, hang on. Let me see if I can find the ideal. I'm glad that all the goblins came in, but they're not standing in great positioning here. I'm sorry, rat. I think he can go even closer, actually. Okay. 
Maybe this? No, that ain't it. No, wait, hang on. Yeah, that is not it. Oh, is he coming in? Oh, <gasps> we got another! Okay, maybe we have to just leave Gerd behind. There we go, okay, so we could potentially get these four off. And the rat, I'm sorry rat! <laughs> oh god. Okay. Alright, okay, okay, hang on, let me get that right. Okay, here we go! Oh, they all saved! Only what? the guards are allowed to do that. No heckin' way! To demonstrate. Wow, that is a right shame. Alright, well. Um, where is... Ooh, the initiatives here. Right, well. Nope, that does not work. And that doesn't work either. Fucking hell. Okay, let's stab him. Okay, that might have been better to just melee it, to be honest. Uh-oh. Oh no, okay. That's okay. That's okay. Oh. Yep. Ooh, alright. Who did that? It was you. What's your HP at? 14. No, I think we'll save that. Oof, nice job, Shadowheart. Oh, fucking hell, they are kind of scary right now. Mm, okay. I don't have a lot of AoEs. But what I do have is magic missile. Uh, <laughs> so we're gonna take out, I think, the uh, chunkiest one here first. Goblin boss. Yeah, let's go for that. Very nice. Okay, let's see if we can shove them. Can I shove someone off the edge? Oh, <gasps> yes. Oh my days. Yes. Okay, that was beautiful. Okay, so now. Let's try this again. Come on, Gale, you got this. Brilliant. Amazing. Absolutely wonderful. Alright, so will I get opportunity attack here? I don't think I will. Amazing. Step to it. We'll set up the opportunity attack for this guy. Um Right, yeah. Let's finish this. Okay, and we can use a Can we safely shatter? guys without hurting anyone <gasps> oh my days look at that look at that clutch look at how look at how tight that is but we're gonna do it <laughs> that is brilliant that amazing and now we've ensnared that wog okay oh oh Oh, pause, champ, game. Okay, awesome. Okay, so we're gonna go with the stab, the stab. Oh, I should take this off and that. Okay, amazing, amazing. Oh, he used this thing. Well, then. What? Do you have double actions already? Oh, maybe, maybe because they're a ranger. Either way, either way, one, actually, no, we'll do it the other way around, pop, 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 and pop, oh, okay, okay, we're good, we're good, Tempest, I will raise. okay, Gale, eight damage, yeah, let's do this, why not, torment, Brilliant! Alright, lovely. That shove and the second thunder wave came very much in clutch there. Uh, we didn't even take much damage, it's poor Astarian did, but uh, hmm. we, can, we can give him some sippy sips and we're good. Actually, I shouldn't have done that, I should have just short rested, but uh, I think we're okay. Actually, I, I probably could just do with a- THE RAT! I need to rest. The sunset can't come quickly enough. 
Yeah, I agree with him. Maybe I shouldn't have wasted those two potions. Um, sorry, rat. <laughs> the rat was just enjoying the music. Oh, I kind of wish I had lured him away. I totally forgot about the rat. I'm so sorry, rat. Uh, we'll take everything and just sell it. Why not? Who is grinding away? Who's using the grindstone? Oh god, is it a bug? Uh, also, did we pick up any keys? Because there is meant to be a key for the guy, the heretic in the cage. There we go, I think we found it. Alright, so I hope that we can pass the perception check here. Amazing. Um, Astaria. Don't touch me. Little hand, please. The bonuses on this lad. Who needs anything more than a three? Still alive. So okay, that's so actually let's rest. move out of the way because the when he pops out of the cage it gets a bit um, weird here. Oh, ah. he, he's speaking to Gale. Look at where the absolute love gone. Dead! Thanks for breaking me out. Gonna find me a new tribe. One that appreciates the old ways. <laughs> Alright, farewell. Very cool. Oh, did Shadowheart not get an inspiration point for that? Are we full up? Is that why? No, we're not. Uh, okay. Well, I could have sworn she used to get inspired by freeing him. But maybe because I didn't speak to him. Mm. Either way, and move. that was actually not bad, the outcome of that. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't go there. Oh, God, the camera. <laughs> Sorry. I do not want to um, set off Ragslin's event just yet. Can we take on Minthara? Without any spells. I would I am inclined to say yes because we can't uh, actually kill her. We have to um we have to just knock her out but not kill her. So that is what we have to do, unfortunately. Uh, okay, wait, hang on. He's gonna spot us though, that's the thing. Yeah, he's gonna hear that, and I can't... I can't use silence, because I need to use, um... Shatter on us. Do we, can we even use Shatter? We can, okay, so... Um... What if I distract him? Is there a way to distract him? Can I do that? Okay, honestly, I feel like this is our best chance here, so... We'll do our best here. You took a life, uh -oh. now yours will be taken in turn. A fair exchange, perhaps. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I think, hopefully, that we will not affect Minthara whilst we, um... Whilst we fight this guy, we're gonna try to get... Maybe, maybe I'll just use uh, weapons actually, just so I don't... Um, aggro Minthara over here. Man, he did not even give us a chance to defend ourselves, huh? Damn. Alright, one more. God damn it. Allow me to double crossbows are not... Okay, it's okay. Brilliant, that's actually so good. No! Don't go there! Do not, please! Oh, good lord. Oh god, he's right outside line of sight. Oh! 
Oh my days, did you see that? He was he was literally on the edge of line of sight. Right, we are we are going to run away. Um <laughs> I am going to not try not to get caught for that. And I'm gonna go to camp. To <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll come back. Maybe we'll do a long rest and then we will. Because uh, I. You know what? I know that no there's still some. No, Gail has one Keep and like. Stop. I know Shadowheart has a ton, but. It's, not it's fine. We're gonna. I have no, no spell slots left. We're just going to long rest and kind of reset the day. That was so clutch, man. <laughs> That was so good. That was amazing. Oh, I could not have asked for more, to be honest with you. Right. Um, I'm sending this to camp. Let's do... Why do I have the teddy bear bag? Hang on. What have I put in here? Oh, did I did I want to keep... I guess, I guess I'm keeping it. I, I could have sworn I, I gave it to um, Astarian. Anyway, let's do a bit of camp um, cleanup. And, and all that jazz um, and um, we will uh, we'll, we can <laughs> sorry I'm just still so I'm actually still in disbelief that we didn't trigger combat with Minthara I'm very thankful but I'm also still in disbelief that we did not trigger combat with Minthara so I'm going to um, we're going to do a bit of camp cleanup we're going to do a long rest because I do want to get I, I don't think we can get um, enough XP to sort of um, level up before Ragslin anyway. Nor do I have the spell slots to do another encounter. So let's do camp cleanup. Let's do a long rest. Let's see if there are any um, long rest events that occur this evening. And because after this, the long rest will be a... Um, we're pretty much going to be doing the uh, the party after this, I, I think. So, yeah, because I think I can do... Do I want to, though? That's the thing. Because that means I lose Damon as a merchant. It'll be, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Uh, right. Okay. Rucksacks are all good to go. So let's do our usual camp cleanup. Oh, I have missed this. I have missed this. I haven't done this in a bit. So we have our... Oh, we got some... We picked up quite a few rucksacks and stuff, actually. Let's put these bags and pouch away. Uh, that's our base camp supply sack. Let's open up this and put these scrolls away. Uh, if anyone is curious why I open... Ooh, actually, I should take this away. Um, why I open the chest instead of just dragging it in, even though I know that it's the ornate chest that I put my scrolls in, it's because this way they will stack. I know I separate out camp supplies, but I do just allow um, scrolls and things to stack. So if you drag it straight in... I don't know if this has been patched or not, but... As far as I know, if you drag something straight into the chest, it will not stack like this. Um, so, actually, whilst we're here, let me uh, take all these. And let's see if there's anything else that's useful we can take. No, not yet. Um, right, let's do equipment. And so, armor and weapons. We'll put these under weapons. Oh, brilliant. That's for Shadowheart. And we have the um, trinkets, like amulets and rings and things, done. Um, let me put this closet scroll into the unique item box. Uh, I think this is all, yep, this is everything shovel related in this rucksack um, here. So we've got, we got those, and then potions, I believe I put them in. Yes, here. Potions and elixirs go there. This should really go to car like. Oh wait, we can do that now. Can I move this? Oh, I can. That's so brilliant. Car like, you can have that. Oh my days. Bless you, patch five. This is such a great, 
<laughs> quality of life improvement honestly just being able to manage um, everyone's inventories uh right then we have our books our little camp library oh actually whilst we're doing this i do have to say if you're listening to this and to anyone who's watching here um if you're new to the channel thank you very much for being here and joining us on this series if you've uh commented left a like subscribed all that jazz i really do appreciate it on that note a lot of people have left very very helpful comments um on on tips and tricks and and things like that i know a lot of people have also asked questions um on why i do the things i do and i'll be honest with you there's no rhyme or reason oftentimes to the things that i do uh in the game i just I grow I just go with my gut, I'll be honest with you. I, I <laughs> so if I do something really weird, um I apologize, I really do. Uh, but someone did ask and I want I do want to test this. So someone asked if it was possible to dye um these uh supply sacks because that would be a really nice easy way to kind of identify them without having to wonder what's inside. So let me test this out now. I'm gonna use this as a tester here. And we have a green dye. Green dye will actually be perfect for like forageables. <gasps> will it work? No! <laughs> okay, I mean, I didn't expect it to. Um, I did not expect it to work. I, I, I was hoping it would. And uh, to the person who left the comment, on the uh, as a, uh, that as a suggestion thank you for, it's honestly a pretty five hit idea um so who knows maybe maybe larian might implement that as a thing someday or or even if we could like change the name of the uh can we rename these okay let's see open pick up examine no yeah even if we could like label or rename the uh the thing or uh, the the packs that would be phenomenal uh that being said i am quite certain not everyone <laughs> organizes camp um to the extent that i i like to do it which is completely fair because the game is long enough already i'm the only maniac that's like kind of wanting to do this very very speedlessly so um that's not on anyone. Oops, my bad. That's Shadow Heart. I am so sorry. I did not mean to send you over there. Right, so let us just very quickly um, stow these away. Since we don't have much, this shouldn't take too long. Open all these up. Okay, we don't have any supply packs that we picked up. Do we have any cooked food? Uh, don't think so. We've got some sweet potatoes and cabbage. We can put that away. Oops, didn't mean to do that. There we go. Perfect. And then we have one a bottle of Ithbank, which I did not actually mean to drag like that, but that's fine. And then we have um, all the meats. I almost want to always have a salami on me, actually. So I, <laughs> so I will do that. I mean, hey, it's a—it's actually a weapon. So in case you didn't know, you can actually wield salami and use it as a. It's got—it does bludgeoning damage. I can actually show you in a bit once I finish this. Uh, this here. I don't think my character is uh, proficient in in uh, at clubs. But uh, there you go. See, I'm not proficient. But uh, a, a Starian can. Hang on. Let me um, let me actually pass those along to him. Where is he? There we go. So, yeah. I'm pretty sure a lot of people know this by now. But uh, just in case you didn't. Hang on. What's the bouton for? There we go. <laughs> yeah, just in case you didn't know. Uh... Salami weapons actually pretty good as well. Like they're they're actually not bad to be fuck all things, all things considered. Actually decent uh, weapons, but yeah no I will uh, I'll keep this here because we have um, initiated the um, Albert Cub 
um, rescue, so I want to have food on me for when uh, when they come to camp at night. So let's just have a look and see how everyone's doing. Will's fine. I think his drink, as always. Lazel's ready to go. Gale is pondering life. Carlac, Shadowheart. Okay, everyone's good to go. Scratch is here. Okay, so let's end the day for now because I want to recharge spell slots and all that. And then we'll probably just go back to the uh, goblin camp. Yeah, we'll go do that. So let's end the day. Ooh, Astarian. Hello? There you are, my friend. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> are you drunk? I have drunk. Not alcohol, of course. A bear. He took a little of my blood. I took all of his. Pretty crazy that you took on a bear. Um, sounds like a dangerous meal. So is any meal worth having? It's nothing compared to, well, uh, other things I could be dining on, but significantly better than the rats and bugs Cazador served me. Sounds delicious. <laughs> it was exactly as appetizing as you'd think. Still, that was the past. I'll never have to grovel for him again. Mm-hmm. What is the Batu? I don't recall having ever seen seen that one. Kinda weird to be honest, because we're using the I mean he's not <laughs> using the tadpoles if not for us, so um let's go at number one here. True, you can start over, you can be better than what he made you. Exactly. I can be better than him. Stronger. More powerful. More... Oh. You meant... Be kinder. Pet bunnies, that sort of thing. I have no objection to being nice, of course. Once I have the power to bend others to my will. <laughs> hmm. Mm. Okay, then we have number three, which, unless I've misunderstood something, completely contradicts the previous option, but I guess that's a different branch. Um, I'm going to go at number two here. You're free now. That's what matters. Is it? What good is freedom if I'm always watching the shadows? No. I'll be safe when I'm powerful enough to grind Cazador into the dust. Powerful enough to do whatever the hell I want. Hmm. Power corrupts. You do well to remember that. I don't know, that sounds so like self righteous. <laughs> I, I think I'll go at number three. Careful, they're heroes about. I'd hate for them to get the right idea about you. Uh, let them! Heroes are half the damn problem. Fools that believe in right and wrong, good and evil. Heroes didn't save me from Cazador. Mind flayers did. They gave me a gift. The strength to take my own freedom. I'm embracing this power. You should too. Hmm. You don't have to tell me twice, Astarian. We have uh, quite ready for you. Some additional guests in yes, our brain already. <laughs> uh, right, let's see. Glad to have an ally. Yes. If he has anything else to say. Oh, okay. What do you think is waiting for us at Moonrise Towers? Who knows? Drow, mind flayers, death. Hopefully not ours. But maybe answers. If we can convince the right people to talk. Okay, okay, okay. So he had some additional dialogue just I then. The easy path. Let's do the nighttime rounds before we go to bed. Always a delight to oh, speak with you. That was a jump. What can I do? 
Okay, so Gail has nothing to say about Moonrise. Um, Will? Well met. <sighs> okay, it's the same dialogue. I feel like part of me wants to just clear it off so that we can clear off the dialogue. I might do that, actually. What do you think of the illicit potential the dream visitor spoke of? I think that unknowable powers come with unknowable consequences. I can't say I'm not curious. But once you've taken a lithid by the talon, there's no telling how deep into the abyss it might drag you. Mm, okay. So here we are. We have the options here. Um... Let's go at number three. We face untold dangers, Will. Shouldn't we seize every possible advantage? Oh, hoo, 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 that's a pretty high roll. Uh, okay, if we fail, I'm not going to actually re-roll. I'm just gonna leave it be. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, which is weird, because he's a warlock. But, I right. appreciate where you're coming from. Truly, I do. But these parasites are quite literally illithid weapons of war. And I'm not so certain they won't be turned against us upon consuming them. That is fair. No, that's fair. All right, well, bye-bye. Uh, okay, well, he disapproved. That's a shame. Well met. Oh, what? And we get to try again? Is that what that is? I think that unknowable I'm gonna powers skip this card. I know we don't skip dialogue, but he's done this already. I can't say I'm not curious. Okay. But once you've taken a lithid by the talon, there's no telling how so we deep get to, into the abyss it might drag you. We get to roll again without having to spend any inspiration points, but I suppose we risk the uh, disapproval. So let's let's see. Let's see. I didn't know you could do this. Uh, so we need a 13 here. I can't have guidance. Oh, well, you know, um, <laughs> perfect. Yes, I suppose we should, though I'm more than a bit wary. Still, I am the frontier's avowed protector. New dangers require new skills to vanquish them. If the tadpole must be my curse, then let the powers it grants me be the Sword Coast's blessing. I will consume what I must to make it so. Well, there you go. We've, we've changed the tune of your song, Will. Okay, uh, now we have Lazelle. I... We have yet to find Zoru. Of course. Or have you so quickly forgotten? Do we he just... seen my people. And where we find Githyanki. We will find their crash. <laughs> Sorry, but we've heard her say this like three or four times already in the previous uh, sessions. Um, I don't feel good about letting her meet Zoru because she will just pick on him and I hate it. Um, have you thought about making use of the tadpole's power? Mark my words, this power would be no blessing but a curse. You might as well ask me to gouge out Jesus. my eyes for the promise of sight, or slice off my tongue for the promise of taste. Consume all the gate tadpoles you wish. I'm not so craven. That's fair. Okay, we only get one option with Lazel, which is, if we must bear the tadpole's burdens, we should also avail ourselves of their power. I'm pretty sure if Will's DC was 18, this one's going to be much higher. Yep. Uh, <laughs> okay, we need a 15. I don't think I want to spend any inspiration points here still, so let's see. <laughs> that actually sounds about right. You know what? I lied. I'm gonna spend the inspiration. I'll spend one. I'll spend one. Laser. Oh no, but do I? I lied again. No, you know what? No, I'm gonna just leave it. I'm gonna let it lie. <laughs> and when the tadpole has stretched to every no. pore and slithered through every vein, what then? It won't hear my screams. It won't care if I beg. I will be remade in its image. My faith in Vlacketh will guide me, and my own might will sustain me. I have no need of this depraved power. 
Okay, well, yeah. No, you know what? Actually, that is so fitting since it's Lazelle after all. Do we get a second try with her? I am going to skip her dialogue at the start here. We have yet to find. Okay, we do get to try again. Why not? Mark my you might as well consume all the gate Why temples you wish. Not? I'm not so craven. Alright, we need a fifteen here. receive perhaps you no that's absurd when the tadpole has stretched to every pore and slithered through every vein what am i to do then it won't hear my screams it won't care if i beg i will be remade in its image my faith in vlakith will guide me and my own might will sustain me i have no need of this depraved power Oh! Oh! We have to go again! Oh! Bloody hell. Alright, well... Good thing we didn't waste the inspiration point earlier, because we may actually use it now. Right, let's see. This Call of the Absolute is dangerous. We should take all the help we can get. Okay. Ugh, number three feels so... manipulative. I, d I, d I, I think I'm gonna go with number one here. This cult of the absolute is dangerous. We should take all the help we can get. Yeah, that's like, that's the most straight up way of, of, of saying it. I, I feel. Woohoo! Okay, we need a, uh, a 13 for this. Let's see how we roll here. <laughs> just, uh, just in case <laughs> the comic dice is off here, so this is... As, uh, as random as it can get, so <laughs> You... You might be right. The Githyanki have long studied Geich and used what we've learned. The Zaithisk itself was devised from such knowledge. The Tadpole is perhaps not just a curse, but a weapon I can twist and mold to my advantage. Mm -hmm. Very well. I will swallow my disgust and avail myself of the Parasite's powers. Okay, cool. Alright, so we've cleared those dialogue options out. That's kind of the main reason I'm doing this. I'm not actually going to put tadpoles in your brain, Lazel, don't worry. Kalek, I'm sorry to interrupt your stargazing session, but... Hi. Soldier. There we go, okay. So, about our tadpole powers. You really did it, huh? Not worried about adding more illithid into the mix? Well, what can I say? You look fine. Smell fine, seem fine, and yet, you're more mind flayer than ever. Hope you don't expect me to follow your lead in this. Hmm. These are interesting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with option two here. It's your choice, but I think the tadpoles make me stronger. Which they totally do. <laughs> do they? I'm not sure either of us can say one way or the other. We don't know what the costs might be just yet. I mean, she's not wrong here, to be honest. Um, you know, I've got such a soft spot for Kalek. I actually, and because it's written the way it is, I'm actually going to go with option four here. I'm not going to try to persuade her or push her into anything she doesn't want. So I don't expect you to do anything you don't want to do. Good. And you know, keep an eye on yourself. If you start feeling loopy, shout. We don't know what these tadpoles are capable of. All right, cool. Wait, no, but does that clear off the dialogue? Copper for your thoughts. Oh, okay, it doesn't. Sorry. Uh, let me just very quickly run through that dialogue bit again and get to the uh, the persuasion check then. You really... And hope you don't expect me to follow your lead in this. Um, it's your choice, Tepple. Do they? Stronger. I'm not sure either of us can say one way or the other. We don't know what the costs might be just yet. 
We might be facing a cult more powerful than we know. We need all the help we can get. Oof, okay, we need a, uh, a 13 here. Nice. Alright. Lovely, lovely uh, rolls. How do you do that? Always making sense when I least want you to. <sighs> Fine. I'll keep an open mind, all right? I can promise that much. Now, are we done here? Oh no, she seems a bit annoyed. I'm so sorry, Carlack like love. Hey, soldier. Okay, she's cheered up. Right, so we've cleared off all the dialogue there. We've spoken to everyone for the evening. Let us speak to Shadowheart here. Let's see if she has anything. Shah's blessings upon you. Okay. No, we've actually cleared up pretty much all of her dialogue, so let's go to bed and see what happens. If there is anything that happens. Oh, our little charming little eggs. Leave my lemon alone. Right. Oh no, why is that? Oh my days, a cabbage is seven. Didn't know that. Oh, we do have something. I promised I'd be back. Don't worry. I have things under control. For now. I see you've been using the powers the tadpole gives you. Good. But things haven't gone as you've expected. You hoped a druid as powerful as Holton might be able to remove your tadpole. But he couldn't. You're desperate to be rid of it. Understandable. But you're looking for solutions in the wrong places. Oh, that's a lot of options. Um... <laughs> My butler! Let's see. Ooh. So what should I be doing? I guess I'm just gonna go with that to be honest. Cause... Well, let's go with number four. Halsin mentioned that these tadpoles have been modified with magic. Yes. Halsin is correct. Your parasite is unusual. It is wrapped in magic that prevents its removal. Until the source of the tadpole's magic is destroyed, any attempt to remove it will kill you. You were lucky that Holson knew this. His instincts are right. The parasites were merely a symptom of a greater sickness in Faerun. Hmm. Let's question him. How do you know so much about these tadpoles? I have kept a careful watch on the movements of the cult. Though the absolute aims are not yet clear to me. Its methods are. These parasites are more than illithid spawn. They are vessels for control. The infected hear the voice of the absolute. And believe it to be a god. You witnessed it yourself with Priestess Gut. That is how the cult of the Absolute is spreading. The highest of their rank, the True Souls, carry a tadpole just like yours. It is how they receive their orders. It is what makes them obey. When the order to transform is given, it will not be a matter of days. They will be Mind Flayers in an instant. Were it not for my protection, so would you. My mind tells me to do foul things. Are you sure your protection is working? I protect you from becoming a mind flayer. I cannot protect you from yourself. But I know what it is like to be burdened by forces outside of your control. We are alike. You and I. Just like you, I was infected with a mind flayer parasite. 
Just like you, I seek to be free of it. I've been trying to escape from this evil for a long time. Once, I almost succeeded. Now, through you, I've been given a new chance. You can go where I cannot, and I can protect you from that evil. If we work together, we may turn this around. Hells, they need me. I have to go. What is going on over there? The power I used to protect you. I stole it from someone. They want it back. I will hold them off for as long as I can. But sooner or later, I will be worn down. You must discover the source of the magic that controls the parasites before that happens. The cultists are gathering at Moonrise Towers. Use the powers your parasite gives you to convince them you are one of them. And when you find the source of their magic, destroy it. Go. Our freedom depends on it. Hmm. All right, that is our... What, second or third? <sighs> kind of dream guardian uh, encounter? Ah, perfect. Okay, so Astarian has had his... Feed. Ooh. Okay, so we can actually get on with this one here. Let me rid myself of this debuff. And I will re equip this, this amulet here. Make sure I drink my daily potion before I forget. Hang on, let me just very quickly... Uh, I'll just craft these. And let's speak to Volo. See what he has to say. Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cosy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. Has your research turned up anything that might help with this parasite problem? <laughs> the animations just then. My research turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems quite actionable. It's not too deep. Just behind the orbital socket. I could attempt an extraction. I've a needle in my tunic, after all. All right. So, a little warning here. I am going to go through with this because to me personally, the buff is actually worthwhile. Um, if you are squeamish, this is your warning. I would say you should skip to the next chapter. <laughs> right after this one all right <laughs> but if you're not squeamish then we are going to go in for this um how many times have you done this before i assure you i've dreamt of it a thousand times over mm -hmm. so yep do it Volo carefully holds one of your eyes open and begins to prod uncertainly with the needle. Endure the discomfort and let him carry on. The needle finds the gap between eyeball and socket. Volo frowns and begins to push. Pain shoots through your body as the needle snags on your optic nerve. I think I have it! The needle seesaws back and forth, plucking the nerve like a heartstring. Oh, bother. There's some obstacle in the way. I shall need a more robust implement. I'm gonna hold as still as possible. Volo carefully withdraws the needle from your eye. Then, reaching into his bag, he produces an ice pick. 
Oh god. The pun. I the implement but allow him to proceed. Volo slowly brings the ice pick closer to your eye. Now. Don't move. All right, we're going to hold our breath here. Cold metal presses against the skin beneath your brow. And then tap, tap, stab. Do you feel that? Ha! Huh. I think we have the blighter on the run. Mm-hmm. I agree. It's a feisty critter. Just a little further. Volo tears the pick from your brain with a violent jerk. Your eye plops down into the mud. Tret. He pauses, looks down at your eye, and recoils slightly as it sinks into the mud. There it is. There appears to be an amount of cosmetic damage. <laughs> oh, you knocked my bloody eye out. I I am worried that by I, I want to actually pick number two. But I'm concerned that if I do, then I will just not have an eye forever. Should we risk it? Oh, before we risk it, actually, let's see what he has to trade. <laughs> oh, my days! Uh, uh, yes. I'll take all of that, sir. Please, and thank you. Because he's gonna, he's gonna bugger off after this. Uh, so I'm gonna buy what I can while he's here. Uh, I am gonna buy this ring. All right, uh, we've read that. Have we read this? Oh, he actually has new books. Okay, no, that's that's it. Okay, so um, I I'm gonna I might risk it and go with number two. Um, I usually pick number one, but yeah, let's 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 risk number two here. Oh, fantastic! Uh -oh. That squint does wonders for your gravitas, in my humble opinion. Though. Um, Perhaps there's something we can do. <laughs> I was getting concerned there. <laughs> Take this. A far superior relic to that old jelly you were trained to. Try it on for size. And, um, it was very nice to have met you. I'm sure you'll sort out your little brain problem one way or another. Far away from here, if you've a heart. Terribly sorry, my friend. Ta. <laughs> and he's off <laughs> into the bush. <laughs> well, there you go. So, um, for anyone... Oh, what's this? Bleeding eye. Okay, bleeding eye gone. All right, so, for anyone who is curious, if you didn't know why I put myself through that, we have a permanent buff now, which is Sea Invisibility. So now we can see invisible creatures, as it says there, within 9 meters. And, um, and it's really, really handy to have, because we don't have to cast a spell for it, or drink a potion, any of that. Now we just have it on all the time. And by luck, my character... Um, I don't think I can... Quiet. Oops, didn't again. mean to do that. I don't think I can really zoom. Uh, maybe I can. Yeah, my character that I've uh, created before even knowing about this, uh, she already has light colored eyes. So it's actually not, doesn't look that um, jarring on her. So that's great. And Will has a very cute dialogue uh, that comes with this, actually. Welcome to the League of the Lone Eye, my friend. Not to minimize the pain of Volo's poking and prodding, but I promise. You'll be used to the prosthesis in no time. Besides, I find it gives one an air of mystique. No one's more intriguing than a woman with one eye. I don't know about that, Will, but I appreciate... <laughs> I appreciate you trying to comfort me in this situation, because uh, I don't, don't think anyone it. else does not even... Gail will say anything. I've been dreaming of our enigmatic oh. visitor again. She told me our purpose was to take on this cult of the Absolute, to infiltrate its ranks and bring it down from the inside. 
She even offered me greater powers. The result of some manipulation of the tadpole's psionic abilities. Given the magnitude of what we're up against, I see no harm in considering the benefit this offer might afford us. Could be the only way to reach this source in one piece. Mm hmm. Okay, okay. So I've totally, from the whole Volo thing, I've totally forgotten about <laughs> the dream visitor dialogue. So let's let's do all that then. Um, let's agree with him. You're right. We must use every means at our disposal, even unsavory ones. As existential evils go, the Absolute certainly seems an adversary worth holding in its tracks. Any opportunities for us to indulge our tadpole's capabilities are hardly on the same scale. Trifles, when one considers the bigger picture. Mm hmm. All right. Thank you, Gail. Uh, let's speak to. Let's go down our party list and then we'll go down along everyone else in camp. So let's speak to Astarian about the, uh, the dream we had last night. I had another visit from that dream figure. I take it you did too. It claims that if we infiltrate the heart of the cult that's giving out these parasites, we'll find the answers we're looking for. It gave me another gift too. Just like it did the first time it appeared. Rather generous. If you ask me. Mm -hmm. uh, whatever's at the heart of this cult, we have to find it by any means possible. And while we're at it, we can see how many more of these little worms we can harvest. <laughs> now, was there anything else? I love his hand animation when he said that. Uh, you can feed on me tonight if you like, Astarian. I was just wondering when you'd invite me back for a bite. Right. Perfect. Okay, so let's speak to Shadowheart, and we'll go to Karlak. I had another dream, which I suppose means you did as well. Whoever's reaching out to us truly does seem opposed to the Absolute, but wants us to embrace the tadpole, venture right into the heart of the cult. Perhaps we truly have a secret protector. Or we're walking into a trap. She's so concerned. Oh, I can't actually carry on that dialogue. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, let's speak to Karlek. Doing her morning stretches. I love her. Another visit from the Golden Paladin. It said we'll get the answers we need about the tadpole if we infiltrate the cult. Mm. Then let's just do then let's do just that, yeah. Indeed. Indeed. Right, uh let's speak to Lazel. I am very sure Lazel will have some opinions about that. Another dream. Another order from that dubious visitor. It announced that we will find the answers we seek in the Absolute Cultist's lair, and offered another generous gift. A persuasive creature. It tempts us with power, expresses its admiration, its adoration. Avert your eyes whenever it appears, and do not avail yourself of this new power, no matter how alluring. You've no idea what damage it could do to us, how far into a lithid madness it could drag us. Hmm. Let's go at number two here. I think the dream figure was right. Follow these cultists and we'll find the source of our tadpoles. Yes. Uh -oh. The one truth that fell out of its cankered lips. There will come a battle. But it will be one with swords, not mind games born of brain worms. She did not like that answer. These dreams linger in my memory. Do you think that strange figure will come back? It is a certainty. I had assumed our parasites served a geish elder. But I believe they serve a greater master still. Okay, wait, hang on. I've not done this before. A greater master. Who 
a what could that be? Yeah, let's go with that. A question that burns in my belly day and night. Elders and collectives abide by their own tenets. It would require a powerful creed to unite them. And now this voice, this creed, finds our own ears. If it reaches this plane, it may reach others. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, interesting. Uh, oh, look at, look at Scrap. Oh, wait, hang on. This is a fun little tidbit. Let's speak to Will and then I'll show you. I'll show you if you stand here. If you didn't know what will happen if you do that. But let's speak to Will. I had another dream last night. The visitor came to me and ordered me to penetrate the heart of the very cult that's spreading the infection. It gave me a tadpole gift too. Just like it did the first time it appeared. I suppose it hoped this would help. At first, I thought we should avoid these gifts no matter what advantage we gain. And yet, I can't help recall the words of my father. The best plan is the one that works. These powers could be enough to edge us towards victory. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll go at number one here. We need these powers to infiltrate the cult. This is the plan that works. Very well. If it's mind games these parasites wish to play, we'll play. And we'll win. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, perfect. The song started as well. So, if you didn't know, here's a little tidbit for you. Stand here in this particular campsite. And we're just gonna sit here for a minute or two and enjoy this, actually. Scratches here. I feel your heart beating my soul. My future's bound, our bodies know. But yeah, that is um, just a little detail. I don't know what the reasoning is behind it, but sometimes you don't need a reason, maybe, you know? And I just thought it was really, really lovely that they have that in the game. Why is it on this corner? Who knows? But. In case you wanted to do that for yourself, now you know how to do it. So let's give Scratch a scratch and then we will do our buffs and head out on uh, and get the day started. Hope you're keeping well, friend. We have to pet the best boy before we leave every morning. So I think what we'll do is we will wrap up the goblin camp. Maybe not. Let's see how we are on... Um, we'll continue the goblin camp for sure. We'll, we'll do Minthara. And then... We'll do the outside of the goblin camp. Let's do that. And then we'll see where we're at on like... Resources. Um, yeah, we'll see where we're at on resources. And then... We'll take it from there. Okay, let us go back to our adventure. 
Excuse me. Um, Shadow Heart. What's next, I wonder? Lovely. Do that. Perfect. All right. What now? Okay. What so we have. Me? Well, Doom and Thara. There goes nothing. So this one might be a little bit tricky, but hopefully not too much. What we'll do is we will take her HP out to as low as possible, and then we will have to just knock her out and not actually kill her. So that she will hopefully um, show up in Moonrise Towers later. So let's do that. Oh. <laughs> okay. They see that though. So I don't know if that's going to um, be a cause for concern here. And then we will have to take out these three because we have to get back to Halson after. Um, okay, so let's, let's actually turn off these lamps. I might actually speak to Minthara here because I almost want to have um, a continuation with her for later. So let me the only thing let me position everyone before Can't we do this. Stay idle. So let me, no stop me yet. speak to Minthara here. How much can I go? Okay. Oh god, I actually I've only right. spoken to her once. What we for? <laughs> so I, I hope that the I don't like ready. pick the wrong dialogue options here. Your scouting party has not returned, and half of the intruders escaped your guards. Sorry, mistress. We mucked up. Until their sanctuary is found, I will take something precious from you every hour that passes. A trinket, a tongue, a limb. I ain't no use without my limbs. The lads will make the prisoner squeal soon enough. I swear! Silence now, creature. Or I will silence you forever. No, my days are kind of falling in love with her. <laughs> As she turns to you, her thoughts mingle with yours. A cold hand caressing your brain. The chamber melts away to reveal a dark, endless nowhere. In it, you see a vision. The drow listens as a pale-eyed young woman whispers in her ear. One of those the voice spoke of, one of the chosen. The vision fades away. A true soul? Praise be. Are you here to join my hunt? Hmm. Oh god, I actually, hmm, okay. Uh, a hunt, who's the target? Oh, I have my own business. How do you know I'm a true soul? I don't want to give away my cover and just start combat right now. So I'm gonna actually go with a hunt who's the target. Worshippers of a false god. Their existence is an insult to the Absolute's claim on this region. There is a weapon the Absolute seeks. I'm sure those wretches have it hidden away there. We will find it amongst the dead and the ashes. Her excitement is palpable. She lingers on thoughts of victory, of unbelievers' blood spilled, and of the weapon. She will seize it in the Absolute's name. You suddenly feel a strange anxiety take hold. Not your own, but that of the Gith artifact you carry. Somehow, it's afraid. You attune your mind to it. The artifact does not want to part from you. It does not want to fall into the Absolute's clutches. The thief whimpering in our dungeon tried to flee to their sanctuary. 
We will continue to remove parts of him until he tells us exactly where it is. He's been resilient, but he'll talk. She is seeking the grove you visited. Already you feel her mind closing around yours. Uh-oh. Ooh. Shan, her dream of a dance of death. Oh no, wait, does she... Does she already know? Does she already know? Oh, good lord. Okay, promise yourself you will save them from her and you. Speak, true soul. The hunt must begin soon. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, let's... Even though we've already freed the prisoner, we'll just... We'll do that. I can be very persuasive. I'll visit the prisoner. Excellent. Be sure not to kill him before he talks. Kill! Weapon the cult is The village after. to the east. Do you think it's our it's artifact? Abandoned. Looks that way. The scouts case, said they heard something moving around out there. The worms in our heads. It's not our concern. Mm -hmm. Our prey is Okay, Gail, that was a lie, sir. We need to convince Minthara to, you know, not hurt us, so calm down. Okay. A long way from Waterdeep. I... Forthwith. I... <laughs> Freaking... Let's get on with it. Get on the same page. Plenty of lashes. Loads of disapproval. And a few At least we got Shadowheart approval. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna be a bit cheeky here. Uh, again, we do have to turn on. Hang on. Okay, Astarian's gonna be the best person to have this. There we go. Um, there might be a goblin that will come in part way through here. Hopefully, they won't. Uh, Can't give up now. But let's just start this uh, thing here. I'm hoping they'll turn, both turn towards me. Is that the furthest I can go? Maybe it might oh, be good to just for. be in this corner Spears actually, because they oh, might both be looking this way. Ready. All right, let's uh, let's try that. Failed me once, and now you dare Perfect. To question me. Oh. The village to the east. It's about Why did I stop playing? How many raiders do we have? Plenty of lashes. Loads of hunters. Why did I stop playing? Pariahs to carry the powder kegs. These pariahs, they're prepared to fight for the absolute. Well, well, I guess we're doing that. All they gotta do is light up their powder and burn. Is it then because I clicked this to button? It, I think it absolute. is because I clicked that button, isn't Good. it? Right, well. Dying's the only thing they're good at. Your violence hasn't gone unnoticed. It's about to be returned in kind. That double mace, man. Okay, so... We'll take out Rozak, but we want to make sure that Minthara does not actually get killed. So, yeah, we have to be very careful here. I don't want to do too much damage, but I don't think that I can... I really don't think that I can kill her with this, but fucking hell, I really hope that I don't. Maybe to be safe, I'm gonna do that. I, I, yeah, I'm gonna go at level 1 just to be safe here. Okay, maybe I could have actually afforded a level 2, but that's fine. Um, I think we can actually safely do this as well. Yeah, that's fine. And uh, okay, everyone's got non-lethal on, so we're gonna actually set With up ease. attacks of opportunity here. I know we're putting Gale in direct <laughs> line of fire, but uh, but it's just a risk that we're going to have to take. Okay, we're gonna focus on Rozak. So what I'm gonna do is I will have Shadowheart do this Oof. okay that was not a good miss here make sure that she's got her melee weapon out actually let's see if we can get her to hit it's not a very good I should have not moved in but 
Nice, okay. We'll take it, we'll take it, we'll take it. Make sure we got a melee. Um, Astarian, okay. So, we've got non-lethal on. We're gonna go for the melee here. Perfect, okay. I am so nervous, I don't know why. Ooh, okay, let's go. Knock her out. Knock her out, Astarian. Don't kill her though, knock her out. Oh, so close! No, don't do that. Holy shit! <laughs> Rosette can die. Okay, or not. Oh no, is he gonna go for the drums? Okay, have we got non-lethal on? We do. Okay, Minthara. Let's see. No, fucking hell. Okay. Still on my feet. Uh, okay, we have to actually stop this guy here. Let me do this. Right, he's out. Perfect. Okay, Gail, please knock her out, please. Bonk. No! Oh god, poor Astarian. Okay, Astarian might be in trouble here. Oh no, please don't. Oh. Oh my days. Okay, come on. Knock her out, knock her out, knock her out. Non lethal's on. Non lethal's on. Okay. Knock her out. Oh, come on! Hey Gail, you can do this, not cut out. Why can't we not cut out, man? Concentrate. Oh my days. Oh my days. Okay, heal a star and just heal him, heal him. Cause if if we can't do it, a starian can. Oh god, he took a while to get up <laughs> Okay, a starian, not cut out, not cut out. Oh my days, what is this? Okay, okay. We did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. Loot, 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 everything. I'm sorry, Minthara, you're gonna be naked. Oh, maybe we shouldn't have looted all. Oh no, she is full on naked. Why are her underpants with us? Oh no, can I give them back to you? Please, <laughs> put your stuff back on. Oh, but I do want her clothes. <laughs> Okay, I hope that if I give them back, I I just want her armor actually. <laughs> I hope that if I give them back to her, she won't be naked. Oh no, I'm so sorry, Minthara. I did not mean forward. to take all your clothes. Okay, and the starring got really beat up that one. Some rests better than none. We'll take Scrut's loot. Okay, so Minthara is knocked out. He's he's dead. Okay, that's fine. He does not need to survive. Okay, hopefully that was what we needed to do um, for that to work for Act 2. And let's pick this up. Let's, uh, let's see. I think we've read this book before. This book is comprised of several chapters, one for each cited source. It claims to contain first-hand transcriptions of the oral histories of several storytellers throughout the realm. Uh, actually, I don't think we have. Let's we'll we'll take this and we'll we'll pick up these things and read them when we do our next um, next long rest. Let's loot this here and then this and let's heal up Astarian a little bit because he did get a little bit shoved around there. Now. Now let's clear these three gobbos out. Because be there might be a patrol as well coming down here. But um, we're going to have to clear them out anyway when we uh, get Halson. And I don't want to... I want to have the option of having a clear path to get to Halson, basically. For when we are done with Ragslin. 
But we won't be taking out Raglan just yet. I want to visit the merchants and loot the rest of the area before I do that, so... Because I might do it anyway, but I'm not quite sure yet if I'm going to like kind of take out the whole, like clear out the whole camp. What is this? Oh, poison. Sure, I guess. Okay, can we actually... Are we strong enough to lift this? Not enough strength yet. Astaria! We have a strong, very strong vampire man here for a reason. Uh, can just I get to that skelly? Yes, I can. Eyes. Again, do you I think that's actually really good. Food? Um. Okay. Someone's gonna have to stand near the drum. A long way to go, still. To destroy Got it. To press on. And then what I let's will do going. is let's do our usual. What are they delaying? See if this patrol. I don't think the patrol's gonna come. Drow wants so to know exactly us... where those adventurers came from. We're gonna stand what here. Are they doing? In trees. Put on we'll a little performance and no, make sure we actually turn them. this off. Okay. Lost in thought. Gail. Only the guards are allowed to do that, as this one is about to demonstrate. <laughs> oh, we don't need to talk. Let's just go. Perfect. Uh, right. Wait, did they all not take any damage from that? Oh, jeez, I need to turn that off. What now? Uh, hmm. Go for this. Very cool. Ooh, Astarian's uh, initiative isn't very good there, huh? Ooh, okay. Ooh, that's not good. No, let's go for this here. Yeah. Oh, not so good. Let's try again. Perfect. May the guys roll in my favor. Um. This might not be the best idea. Uh, you know what? Let's use our level one spells. Why not? There we go. At least that's. Ah, uh, you know I could have actually split between the two, huh? It's fine. No, don't play the drum. So, let's go for you. Nice job, Shadowheart. Very good. Holy shit! Can't even catch my breath. Okay, let's uh, let's split the magic missile between these two. Sharp eyed Neem, you pretty much are gone. You can have these three. Perfect. Done. No reinforcements called in. And the rat, the rat again. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh god, I'm such a rat exterminator. Unintentionally so. Uh, I didn't even see this one. I'm not gonna lie to you. Right. Um, well, that's done. So let's pay a visit to the... Uh, the merchants. We're going to speak to... I forgot her name. Bria? Roa, sorry. We're going to speak to Roa and then we'll speak to whoever the merchant is outside just to look at their stock. Ah, the family friend. Need something? Okay, let's see what she's got. Uh, no hand crossbows, unfortunately. This axe is still pretty tempting. Mm, we have our gears already pretty decent. Oh, I need to give Astarian this uh, this armor set actually. Uh, mm, nothing of use really. So till next time. Thank you for nothing, Roa. And let's just pour it. If we do this, 
will go to the um, I never remember his name. Grat. Let's see what he's got because who's failed? Who's at the <laughs> Okay. I got stuff if you got coin. Yeah, Mr. Kajit. Ooh, okay, so he's got good potions and any hand crossbows? A regular one. Eh, don't really need it. Gloves of archery? No. Hide armor is medium? No. Mm. Great sword, great club? No, don't need those. Let's see what dyes he has today. Ocean dye, orange dye, pale green dye, and blue dye. Red dye, yellow dye. Uh, no. We don't, we don't actually need any of this, do we? Get moving! Yeah, well, you ain't got that good loot anyway. So, since the merchants had nothing, what I will do here is, we're gonna stand here where Crusher was. Okay, I'm gonna place my main character over here. Uh, I think what I'll do is this may be a mistake, but I hope that it actually works. So we're going to play music here. Perfect. What now? Astarian. Moving. Okay, it's okay. I don't need the performance to succeed for this to work. Okay, so this what we're gonna do here. Very, very quiet. Hopefully that doesn't kind of uh, ruin it for us. Now it's a party. <laughs> Darian can kind of sneak around here. Not a sound. Time for discretion. Okay. Over there. Go over here, Starian. To do. And I will deal with this situation. I have to keep going. Hopefully, I will anyway. Um, I'm glad you asked. Tell everyone to gather round. Guys! This one's given us a toast! You raise your glass and shout. <laughs> Number five! <laughs> We're not doing that. Let's do that. Or to drinking till we die. <laughs> to me! <laughs> Number one's great as well. Oh, should we do it? <laughs> I don't know, they're all really good. I mean, number two is alright, but everything else is so good. <laughs> you know what? Screw it. To me. I? To finding those looters and crushing them! <laughs> Right, we're gonna um, let's go at number three here. After you, I shouldn't drink before the host. Oh, perfect roll there, calculated. That's how you end up dry, mate. Not that I'm complaining. Mhm. Mm Bottoms up, fellas. Now get out of my way. Oh, I need another drink. Go for it. Okay, who's who's the one that's gonna come and question us? Poisoned us. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Mm-hmm. 
If I'd poisoned you, do you really think I'd still be here? Or we could intimidate her. I did, but I can slit your throat if you prefer a quick death. The temptation. You know what? We'll go with deception. If I'd poisoned you, do you really think I'd still be here? Ooh, it's a higher roll. Okay, we need a 12. Perfect. Lovely. All right. Snack. You're right. Whoever did this could be anywhere by now. Indeed. Horrifying. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, so that is done. Hopefully, actually, I can uh, go around the back and not have my party members get questioned. Okay, so... What we can do is... I'm trying to think here, sorry. Let me just see if I can get all my cards um, laid out. I could basically wrap up the goblin camp here. Or, or, we could actually... Let me open up my quest journal here. We could do spiders. Uh, we, could, we could go visit some spiders before we do this. Because then we'll have one long rest in between now and the party. Which may be beneficial, I think. Do I want to keep them in? Because if I, if because, so my main concern or just to share my kind of um, thought process of this is I, I would like to see what Damon carries for the next level for, for in his inventory for his shop. Oh, actually, since we're here, um, let me give you this armor set, Astarian. I'm sorry, Minthara, I know this was your set, but uh, I don't know why you're wearing light armor. Anyway, Minthara. I'll give you a nice uh, heavy armor set when we get you. Hopefully we'll get you. Um, boots of Striding. When you cast a spell that requires concentration, you gain momentum. Oh, this is perfect for um, Shadow Heart, actually. Let's see. Shadow Heart, what you've got on. When the wearer heals a target, it gains an additional three temporary hit points. Nah, you want, you want, the, you want these concentration boots. And do we want to give her... That mace. Oh, we might actually. I, uh, Zion. Oh, it's like cyanide, but cyanide. Oh, actually, that's brilliant. Okay, we're doing that. Um, oh, we'll give you the the. Uh, isn't this the the healing ring? When you heal a creature, yeah, perfect. We'll do that. That's even better than the boots as well. Um, we'll send this to camp. I don't think we'll need that. And Gail. Gail can carry this. And then... Let's see, let's send... Let's do a little bit of inventory... Um, clean up here. Just before it gets like insanely overwhelming. Send to camp. This is all... Oh, I should have sold items, hey. When I was doing merchants. I can do that now, it's no big deal. And... Poison damage. Eh, I don't think I really need that. Water sparkers. When the wearer stands in water during combat, it becomes electrified. No, not not a fan of that. I'll send that over to camp. And then with the liar that we picked up from... Um, what's her name? Minthara. We'll, we'll have that. And I'll keep these books on me so that I know I've not read them. Because otherwise I will lose track. And let's see what... Are these the same kinds of boots? No, they're not. <gasps> should we give Shadowheart some shoes? No, actually, we should keep keep these because I forgot to put them back in Minthara. Um, how heavy are they? Oh, I can I can hang on to those. <laughs> Just <laughs> we should we should keep that for Minthara. Um, right, let's. Uh, Let's go sell some items. 
No time to waste. And then I think... Yeah, let's go sell some items to Roa, and then... Yeah, and then let's go, we'll go do, um... We'll go kick off the, um... The spider cave. I think that would be, I think that would be good. We might potentially be able to level up from that. Ahead. Oh, oh the sorry, family guys. I forgot to grab all the items that we're selling. Let's do this. Ah, the family friend. Till next time. Okay, perfect. Um, These boots have seen everything. Yeah, let's see if we can get one level from. Ah, uh, I don't know. This is kind of perfect. This is actually kind of. If I do this, not this. If I do this. Ripe with and magic. this. Actually, pretty ideal. I suppose we can because I know we want to keep Damon. But step forward. Let's just pretend that Damon won't have anything. Or Roa. It'll be fine. We get the uh, Githyanki uh, merchant anyway. So after the party, so I think, you know, I think we'll be okay. I think. Um. Yeah, let's let's actually do let's actually wrap up Goblin Camp. We'll be all right. Cause uh, Aaron's going to upgrade his inventory as well after this. So, yeah, you know, yeah. Let's let's do let's wrap up the Goblin Camp instead of going off to um, the Spider Cave. Okay. Uh, right. Let me think if I've got if I've done it. I think I have. I think I have. I think it's just time to do rags then. I command you, corpse. Speak. Reveal truth to the absolute. Nothing. Must be reading it wrong. Suga and Sukuk. The hobgoblin turns to you, and the parasite squirms in your skull. You taste the ale on his tongue and the bile in his soul. The visions cloud your inner eye for a brief moment once again. You see the hobgoblin bowing before the armored elf you'd glimpsed before. The elf speaks of the hunt for a great weapon and the rewards that will go to whoever finds it. The hobgoblin's eyes gleam hungrily. If it isn't a true soul devil, he doesn't speak his next words, yet they still rattle your skull from within. You ever talk to a dead squid? Now's your chance. Hmm. Let's uh, study the corpse. Was this the mind flayer that tortured you? Let's let's do that. Or should I say I haven't made a habit of it? This Mind Flayer's build is smaller, its garb plainer. A fearsome creature even in death, but not the one that tormented you. Hmm. Yet it too roamed the Nautiloid. It would have seen you, known you. Absolute says the dead Squiddy had a weapon. I reckon the killer nabbed it and scooted off to that looter camp. He's such a chunky we man. find who killed it, and we find who took that weapon. So settle in. Mm -hmm. Let the ceremony proceed. You choke on black smoke as the hobgoblin bellows his incantation. I command you, corpse. Speak and say sooth. Lucan Ock, Alcohol Deck, Shulko Hank! The hideous corpse rises, tentacles writhing. Your heart seizes, and are questioning the creature might recognize you as its killer. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I should have let Shadowheart done this <laughs> because it's wisdom rolls, I think. So, 
All right, we're gonna dig into Ragslin's mind and control the interrogation here. Okay, we'll have guidance and go for that. Woo. All right, first roll cleared. Ragslin's mind reels, then calms. He will speak as you command. With Ragslin's voice, you ask. What were you doing in Faerun? What were you doing in Faerun? Ragslin scowls, shocked by his own words, and a jolt shoots through your skull. The creature speaks in visions. A swarm of Githyanki dragon riders, silver blades held high, control panels melting, flesh pods spilled open. Githamans! They know something. He is suspicious, confused by the question that fell from his lips. You proceed carefully. Okay, let's ask, why were the Gith chasing that ship? Why were the Gith chasing that ship? You see dark tunnels lit by noxious pools of brine. The darkness spreads through the earth. The sky splits open and nautiloids pour out of a void that consumes the stars. What in the... Suspicion floods Ragslin's mind. Your brain howls as you force a final query into his throat. Yep, we're gonna go with number one here, who is the Absolute. I think this is the only one that doesn't put us in trouble. Soul. Of course I'm a true soul. It's a mistake. I'm a true soul, remember? We connected. Ooh. Or do we thrust ourselves into his mind? I think we're gonna roll the persuasion one here. I don't know what happens if we pick option two. And as much as I want to try new things, I don't want to start a fight now because I'm not really positioned for it. Uh, right, we need a four. All, all that, that works too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're right. You're a real true soul. Damn straight. I felt it. <laughs> the corpse collapses. <laughs> Silent once more. No, no! I'm not done! Riddles, all of it. And nothing to show for the trouble but rotting squid meat. No answers. No killer, and no damned weapon! <sighs> that damned trow was right. Can't let her get all of that glory. Seems I ain't done with you. Report to the drow. Minthara's the name. She's mounting an attack on that blasted grove. Tell her you'll join her. Con consider it done. Yep, yeah, I've totally not spoken to Minthara yet. Praise the absolute. Perfect. Okay, so... <laughs> yeah. So we've set this up. Um, and now what we can do is... Which way to the nearest library? Gail, I'll have you stand... Let's explore. ...up here. Can you not stand up there? You can't. Okay. Um, Astarian. Oh, hello. Watch the shadow. You can stand here. Uh, shadow heart. You can stand here. Basically away from the pits. I've got a long road ahead. And now... Oh, I'm a little bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie, for this particular bit here. I will stand right here. Okay, and then we're gonna play some music for them. I need this guy to come down as well. Wait, what? Listen. Why did I stop playing music? Honors you. Oh, no. What? <sighs> well, that's not good. I don't know why I stopped playing just then. Is it because I, I don't know if it's because I moved the camera or something? But that is not a good situation to be in. Right, well, let's see what we're working with then. She is a 
How do I reset the situation here? Can I not? If I leave the area and come back, will that do it? What if I go to the all the way to the blighted village and come back? Oh no, that is not what I meant to do. I'm by myself, but whoops. Did not mean to do that. It's okay. We'll we'll, we'll hoof it back. I'm trying to think here. <laughs> I got all nervous because I thought that was going to start this whole encounter, this whole fight. But uh, but now the uh, the nerves have melted away and are building up at the same time. It's a very complex <laughs> jumble of emotions I'm feeling right now. Uh, okay, hang on. I almost wish I had a bard in the party here. Where's Volo when you need him? Where's Alfero when you need her? <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, let's see if I can try that again. No! Oh, good lord! Okay, well these guys are chumps. They have 7 HP. Not too bad. We have to... What we have to do is we actually have to... The Booyag is gonna be the one. The That one, that one. The Sharp Eyes, I think they can summon things. Is there anywhere Astarian can hide? I think he can literally Trust me. be in this little nook here. No, that's like a, no wonder why it's uh, not red like this one. Okay, let's see if you can stand next to Gale and get a sneak attack from doing that. Might actually be better here. Okay. Okay, since my performance doesn't matter anyway, we're going to stand here next to, uh, next to Shadowheart and... Um, I think what will happen here is... Let's see what this looks like actually. Of course. Let me just have a quick check on how this can work. Okay, so he can actually, Gail can actually potentially do this for us. Yeah, alright. So, not ideal. Um... Not the most ideal situation, but we're going to do our best and hope for the best here. Careful, I'm right. Defile the absolute name. Did that even do any damage? He missed. Okay, that is not great. Uh, all right, Gale. What fools these mortals be! We need to get all of them. Oh no, can we not get that guy? What if I just shimmy over just a little bit? Oh no, it's not enough to get that one. It's fine, if we get the Booyag, that will be enough for us. Yeah. Okay, we didn't get the booyah, but we got one of them. Nothing will stand in my way. Uh. Okay, the spiders are neutral. I think they're going to actually eat that goblin. Okay, do we go by numbers or do we go for the bigger guy first? I think we're gonna go. We're gonna go by numbers. So we're gonna take out the booyah. First and foremost, I'm actually gonna go up here. Going. There's blood in the air. Okay, I'm gonna take out the Booyag. If we can. One more. Perfect. 
Uh, Gale, I actually need you to move to a safer spot. Let's actually move you up Striking here. Distance. Can't give up. Not now. Okay, Shadow Heart. I think what we can do is try to get rid of these guys. Ooh, no more level 2 spells after this though. Perfect. Oh my day. Shadow Heart, you are an absolute beast. Perfect. Now, I think we'll run over up here. Yeah, let's just go up here. Then we can swap out to melee and get a um, attack of opportunity as well on this guy, potentially. Ooh, eat the spy, eat the goblin. Okay, they're neutral, but I don't know if that means they will attack us as well. Okay. Okay, so definitely they're not gonna be friends with him. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Ragslin. No! Thunder, thunder. Push him off. Oof, he saved. Oh, Shadow Heart. Oh no. Okay, he's helping his mate out. He's gonna t kill the spy. Try to kill the spiders anyway. Where are we? Don't do that. Great job, Gale. We can break that bridge. Good job, me. Okay, we need to save Shadow Heart. Um, let's go with this on Ragslin here. Perfect. Okay, so let's actually... We should actually take out these guys. Yeah, let's do that. Perfect. Um, let's give Ragslin a little bite here. Oh, actually, let's not. Let's just get around. Let's surround him and see. Let's actually just surround him. Ah, oh, but the bite will actually give him a, a disadvantage, so let's do it. Yeah, perfect. Okay, that's actually not bad. Um, Gale, Gale, the man. Okay, I'm gonna ignore this guy. And we're gonna try our best to focus on Ragslin here. Shadow Heart, we're gonna... Do I have a bigger potion for her? Hang on. Yeah, let's give her some of these. Drink that. Perfect. Now... Okay, Shadow Heart, I believe in you. You can absolutely do this. 70%. That's not bad. Alright, go for it. Oh, Shadow Heart! Oh my days, you badass. Don't kill Shadowheart. Don't kill anybody. Oh, fucking hell. Aha, aha. Perfect. Oh, fucking hell. Oh no, what are you going to do? I forgot that he's still alive. It's fine, he's got like 4 HP. Shield that. Okay, Ragslin... No, I don't have a level 2 miss magic missile. It's fine, we might actually be able to take him out. <gasps> so close, so close, so close, so close. It's okay. Astarian, you can do this, you can do this. Oh my days, okay. Hang on, hang on. Oh, one more, one more. Perfect! Oh yes, okay. Oh my. <laughs> A bonus action, you have it. Okay, that's fine. Um, Gale Magic Missile, you can do two each, I think, or maybe. You know what? Yeah, why not? Um, actually, we'll give him three and then we'll do one on him and hope for the best. Okay, we're, we're fine. That's that's okay. Go up here, Gale. 
Oh my days. <laughs> We're excellent. My faith will protect me. Okay, um Got to press on. I think you can shoot everyone, Shadowheart. You can take everyone out, to be honest. Oh, not enough movement, that's fine. Okay, he's done. You can't get to us, can you? Oh my days! He's going up for the high ground here. What a cheeky, cheeky bear. Okay, well... I don't think I can reach him, to be honest with you. I don't think I can get to him, even with magic missile. Can I? <gasps> Another parasite. Collect it. It might be useful. <laughs> All right, that's brilliant. Okay, that was very. Oh, poor Starry has one HP in a dream. Okay. Pushing on. Okay, let's heal Astarian just in case. Uh, because we might run into combat so because everything's progress. sort of aggroed now. Like that, that guy Bez is might come and fight us. So, uh, let's loot useful. this area. Um, let me actually be a little bit sneaky. Find. Okay, we're gonna loot Buyag and that here. What path lies before me? And then we will um, we'll loot Ragslin because that's gonna give us another tadpole, which is great. Okay, who gets the upgrade? So I've got psionic backlash oh, already. Have the magic touch. Uh, not around, so it might as well. Shadowheart could actually benefit from Concentrated Blast, actually. Because I think next level she'll have a couple Concentration spells, so... Um, we might do that over giving uh, someone else Psionic Backlash. And she's, then she's set up for that too. Perfect. Okay. Uh, yeah. That, that, that went well. Considering the 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 um, better boots. all things considered, considering could, <laughs> considering we failed the setup there, um, I think that went as well as it could have. So let us Please. loot all this because I think they all have camp supplies in them. Not that one. <coughs> Get that desecrated statue of Saluna there. Loads of camp supplies here. Oh my days, actually loads. Oh my days, look at all the meat. Did I? Those that that was a lot of meat. <laughs> like a lot of meat. Holy shit. Okay, let's loot all this. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Amulet of Saluna's Chosen, Saluna's Dream, fall asleep. Oh, they possibly fall asleep. No, I'm alright. Send that to camp. What we've got here. Gloves of the Growling Underdog. Underdog Fairy, the very good event military. Oh, okay, that's actually good. We'll take that. And Spring Step Boots, Swift Strides. When the wearer dashes or takes a similar action during combat, they gain momentum for three turns. I think we can take it for now. Okay, we'll give that to Karlak. All the gold here. Take everything here. Brilliant. Okay, let's look at what we've looted. We'll send all these scrolls to camp. We'll give that poison to Astarian. We'll put these arrows away. What is this? Faith Breaker. What special move does this have? Absolute power. A surge of divine energy accompanies your swing and possibly pushes the target back five meters. That's not bad, actually. Not that anyone here would be able to use it, I think. Mm. Oh, you can use it. Is it too... It's versatile. Wait, is that? does that mean I can wield it with one hand? Can we use it one hand or both? Yeah, perfect. <gasps> Ooh, we should give that to Shadowheart. Oh, my days. Okay, yeah, let's go with that. Okay, uh, you can... You know what? You can... Uh... You can go to camp. Oh, oh, I think Gail can carry it. Just in case we want to use it again. Yeah, let's do that. And then we have Gail. You can carry this as well. And I think what we'll do is... Are these... Is this an armor? 
It's not an armor set. What we can do is we'll give this to... Who should we give this to? Might give this to Astarian, actually. It doesn't need that plus one sleight of hand. Heavy weapon is weapon, the one default to targets. Attack well, but that, the Glyphs of Power are really good. Melee attack rolls. Mm. Um, maybe Shadowheart? What gloves is she wearing? Okay, yeah. I think we'll, we'll do this. And then this we can... Um, we'll, we'll keep it on us for now. But otherwise, I don't think we will use it. Just in case though, just in case. Right! Awesome. We've done away with the goblin leaders. And now we can have a party with all the tieflings. Okay, yeah, I think we're good. Oh, why do I have this camp supply pack? Uh, oh, I think that's uh, Mintharas, actually. I think that's Mintharas. We'll send that to camp. Okay. Great. Um, Still breathing. Just let's go rescue Halsin. Swift as my feet can carry me. We go up here, so we're gonna climb up and go through the uh, the rafters to get to Halsin. Oh, and we can loot him whilst we're here. Perfect. Nothing. Oh, there's a treasure here though. If everyone else minds their business. I'll be fine. Those arrows. Don't waste a step. Okay, so we have to be a little bit careful here with the uh, the patrol that's going on. I mean, if we end up fighting them, we end up fighting them, but I'd rather not. Since I have zero spell slots currently. Oh. Okay, perfect. Let's, uh, let's go down. Run, 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 run. Oh, my days. All right, very good. Cue the Mission Impossible music. All right, let's go here. Okay, perfect. And Thara? She's, uh, yep, she's still passed out. Oop, we got a glimpse of it. Let me just double check to make sure because uh, I'm so keen on this, actually. Okay, now that scared me. Uh, I'm so keen on this working. Hang on, let me have a look here. Minthara, knocked out. Yep, and also quite naked. Um, <laughs> oh, my days. Okay, um, yep, okay, let's go. And I'm so sorry. I, I really didn't mean to like loot all her stuff actually because I wanted to um Time to press ahead. I wanted to actually uh keep that. Oh did we not loot these guys? Let's loot this. Oh I did not look at what these were. Once per turn when you dash, you gain wrath for two turns. What's wrath do? You have plus one bonus to damage with melee weapons. Oh that's actually good for um him. Not bad for him anyway. They're fuzzy boots! <laughs> oh, I love that for him. Um, right, let us uh, yes, loot please. the butcher. Oops, not you, Astarian, Can't sorry. Now. We'll loot the butcher. Should my step. Open this. Oops. <laughs> Should wash that away. Or, or burn it away, actually. Can we burn that away? I can loot the uh... Oh my days, that was a bit more explosive than I thought it would be. Um, we can loot these whilst that's cooling down. Maybe I'll this mace. See what's in here, that's pretty good. Check this potion here. Scroll. Clear out this. Oh, alcohol. We'll take it. For the inside boo-boos. Okay. I um, think there's some meat here. We have more than enough meat, but 
Well, you can never have enough meat. Oh, what's this? Animal friendship. No, thank you. I'm sure that can come in handy in certain situations, but I'm, I'm alright. We will not take any of the suspicious meat, just FYI. Uh, I don't really need to be eating meat. I don't know where it came from. Um, okay, so let's speak to Halson and see if the uh, Minthara thing works. This will pretty much confirm it, actually. The ringleaders have to die. The very natural order of things is in danger. Thanks to them. <gasps> let's go. All the leaders are dead. The grove is safe. You did it. You actually did it. The leader's dead. <laughs> Praise Sylvanus. No, that's not right. <laughs> Praise you, my friend. The Grove owes you a debt beyond measure. Killing's never my first choice, but those three were too dangerous to leave alive. Oh my days, the first option. Um, let's go with, I've done my part, now tell me about Moonrise, because... Do we... What, what happens if we say I need your help? What is he gonna do or say? Yeah, let's go it. Let's go it too. I've done my part. Now tell me about Moonrise. It feels so aggressive though. Let, uh, <laughs> let's go with number three actually. Let's go with number three. I don't know what happens in number three. I don't like how aggressive number two is. So let's go with I need your help. And you'll receive it soon enough. Return to the Grove. I'll make my own way there. I can see to some matters there. And we can discuss what comes next amidst more bucolic surroundings than here <laughs> all right Halston we'll see you in the Emerald Grove all right very yes. good look at um look at that okay we're, we're pretty empty on spell slot I actually mind. actually almost fully utilized all our bits and pieces so that is a uh, nice efficient a long rest that we've um, that we've had before this carry me. okay uh right let's We'll get the party started. Oh no, why is... why do we have this? The Githyanki warrior? Zoru has... oh, Zoru has left the Emerald Grove. We'll need to find a Githyanki crash without his help. We can find the crash, don't worry, Lazel. Oh my days. Uh, we help Halston save the Grove. Hopefully we resolve the conflict between the Tiefling and the Druids. We'll find out when we meet him there, okay? Withdraw Ragslin dead. The goblins have no leadership. They won't be a threat now and we should tell the Tieflings, yes. Okay, with the, they'll be happy to learn the news. Yes, draw Ragslin, the Goblin King. He's called the Goblin King. Spoke of the artifact we carry. He's trying to gain information about its whereabouts from a dead mind player. It must be powerful. We should find out more about it. Okay, so there's a ton of quests that is just really just tied to the artifact here. With the Goblin leaders dead, Halson and the Grove can rest easy. We should meet him there to discuss what comes next. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So, loads of quests built up here, but a lot of them are actually tied to each other. What was, um, what was Damon's line? Help one, help the other. Which is a really, really good line, actually. Okay, all the tieflings are ready to go. A scout oh. just reported. Oh. The goblin's leadership has been decimated. What? We might escape this place yet. And I hear you are the one to thank. I'm grateful. I took a collection from all of us. It isn't much, but you've earned it. Thank you. Very kind of you, Zevlo. It's not enough, but it's all we have. Halsin will likely want to thank you too, mind. He returned just a while ago. I believe he's catching up with Corker. Mm. As for us... No armies at our heels. Amazing. We can finally leave, but perhaps we need not speak of farewells. We'll join your camp tonight to celebrate if you'll have us. Yes, absolutely we'll have you. We'll see you there. Perfect. Okay. Actually, I really liked that there, there wasn't a... that there wouldn't be a chance you'd reject him by accident because both those were basically yes. Uh, oh, Astarian leveled up. How'd you level up so quickly, Keep love? Distance, darling. Why'd you get ahead of the game, huh? I, mean, I don't blame you, but... Very good. Okay. Cool. 
How much? Oh, we are so close. 35, 55, and 30. Gail is taking his time. At least things have stayed interesting. Okay, how do I get like 50 HP? I know a very quick way to do it, but I'm not sure if I want to do it now. Yes, you are. And we don't need it. Um, let's speak to everyone actually before they leave. I'm glad you didn't die. No discounts once I'm running the wider Baldur's Gate mind. <laughs> Matters. Oh, Sylphie's here. Matters says we should say thank you. Cute. Okay, let's actually search the crates as well. They're not red anymore. You know what? I don't think we're going to search the crates as much as they won't really need it you know <laughs> let's be real they won't need what's in it but uh oh padina's uh P pandiana sorry i never say her name right pandiana's up and uh and walking let's see Pick something really i'd have put good coin on you running off into the sunset but you did it you stopped the goblins thank you let's talk to lacrissa mm. We have a bet. With the goblins dead, we might actually make it to Baldur's Gate. Mm -hmm. Don't forget our bet, Lucrissa. We did it. Uh, it's I Gwex. Did it. I'm glad you came through it alive. We owe you more than we can repay. Okay. Memnos. I'm sorry I wasn't the less likely anyone will give us That'll change from now on, I promise. Oh, what's happening here? Very serious. Can we not speak to him? Or her? Okay, maybe they're not in the mood for talking, which is fair because her brother died, isn't it? Uh, I've already spoke to the my favorite tiefling kids, so I'm not gonna speak to the rest to be honest. <laughs> Melly's like, I'm sorry, but Melly's like a rude ass piece of shit, so I'm not bothered. Uh, oh, I'll speak to Donnie. Sorry, Donnie is Donnie's cute. There you go. Mer uh, where's Mercon actually? Mercon's a good one as well. Oh, there he is. Look at him. You saved us! Just like Baldy Ron! Who the heck's Baldy Ron? <laughs> Dennis? God, it seems we might actually make it to the city now. Hope the neighbors are a bit more welcoming. <laughs> oh, bless. Bex? I knew this would come right if we just stayed positive. Not that your blade didn't help too. Mm-hmm. Okay. Stay near the now we can... Group, right? Rika no is there. Torrin. Aramas. Oh, let's speak to um, Arabella here. Boulder's Gate. We're coming. Okay. She's very excited. Uh, Icaron. Oh, Okta. Back to worrying about road rations it is. So many mouths to feed, but... Well, that's not a bad problem to have. Thank you, truly. Okay. Uh, then we have Roland, Cal, and Leah. I nearly dispatched those goblins myself, but it seems you managed well enough. And why wield a masterwork where a butcher's blade will do? My thanks, truly. Excuse you. I hold no butcher's blade. I got the spell sparkler. Glad to see some goblin blood spilled for a change. I was sick of running from those rats. Man, the voice acting in this game is just so fucking spectacular. Leah? It was you, right? Who took care of the goblins? I knew you were a good one. Not just the voice acting, the acting actually, I should say, because everything, the mocap and the, and the uh, recordings for the voices were done all at once. Oh no, we have to say bye to Devon. Um, Aaron? So it's true. You scattered the goblins. Peace can finally return to this corner of the Sword Coast. Thank you. No worries. Uh, I'm just glad I could help, yeah? As am I. And I'm sure those poor refugees would quite agree. Yeah, we're gonna have a party tonight. <laughs> I'm so excited for it. Uh, okay, let's go say goodbye to Damon before we um, head on over to speak to Halson. My and then we'll we'll probably do a long rest because we're out of spell slots and all that jazz. Be good to refresh before we head out again. Hi, Damon. You saved us. I wasn't sure we'd make it through. 
Yeah, no worries. I could, there's no acknowledgement to that? It's just, why did my game just blip just then? It's just, let me see your wares. Oh, something is happening to the game camera. Am I crazy? Maybe, I feel like I'm going crazy. Oh, whoa, okay. <laughs> I wish I had better, but this is all I have. I didn't know that um, the camera can change like that whilst uh, choosing a dialogue. <gasps> Davin, bless your heart. I did not check him for his inventory refresh, did I, once I leveled up? Um... Okay, let's see if he's got any good dyes. I'll buy purple dye. Um, I actually don't mind the purple dye. Light blue, swamp green, green, sea green. Nah. Safeguard shield, saving throw plus one. Nah, it's okay. Okay, I think that's uh, all we need from them, and we'll probably see him again in Act Dos. Make Tamora's luck twist your way. Aye, same to you, Damon. All right. What I wouldn't do for the best tools. Salmon's done. We can actually kind of steal all that later. I think Eridin's crew has left as well. Um, I actually didn't check if Liam made it back, did we? Or did we? How? Why am I over encumbered? Because of the freaking camp supplies, I think. Yeah. Holy shit. Oh, that was uh, it was a lot of camp supplies to be fair. Uh, okay, so now we're gonna do that. This can go to camp, and I believe. Let me just do a little bit of this. Actually, let's do this when we uh, when we long rest. Um, let's do this first. Astarian, please. Should be easy. Not that we needed the guidance, but I just like to have it on anyway. Alright, what now? The ground according to Bumpo. The next Bumpo. Uh, we'll take this. Crossbow. Spear. Dagger. One day, I'll catch a break. The mace. And we've got What's a rucksack here? here. Another traveler's chest. Okay. Nothing. No, nope, we don't need that. We'll take the gold. Absolutely, we will. Rags. Nope. Okay, all done. Right, let us. Uh, let's go speak to Halson. There are a bunch more things we can loot in this. I think in the grove in general, but. Uh, I don't think there's anything important. He's not going to talk to us again, I don't think. So let's go. Let's go talk to Hals and he. I beg your forgiveness, yeah. Master. Beg Sylvanas, not me. He's not happy with Korga there. Hi, Halson. Is this a bad time? You took it upon yourself to undertake the right of thorns. I ought to exile you from this place, forever. Instead, I shall listen to the explanation that you owe me. An error, most grave master. I beg your grace. Grace is bestowed by nature, not me. You will stay as a novice anew. You have forgotten the ways of the druids, the natural order of things. It is up to you to prove the lessons have been learned once more. So as you say, and so it is done, master. For Korga. I mean, she messed up, but you know. Um. Oh, what are these options here? Cruel blood is a life. I kind of like number four. The fire of ambition is in her very blood, and cruel blood is a life companion. Does that have like a bad consequence though? I guess we'll find out. There is naught a clear and meditative mind cannot overcome. After we stray, we return to the fold, having learnt to do better. And in the fold, Korga is needed. Huh. You will soon see why. But enough of that for now. I owe you my thanks. The grove stands. 
Nature prevails. And again, I am in your debt. Speak to Wrath. He will reward you for your efforts. Ooh, okay, yeah. I like that answer, actually, from Halsin. I like that response. I've not um, selected that option before, so... Uh, good to know. What happens next, Halsin? The journey to Moonrise Towers. And all the dangers that that entails. But that's tomorrow's problem. Take some time for yourself tonight. Rest. Celebrate. Come morning, I'll be by your side. Okay. In the shadows. They saw Vanus forgive me. At least mm -hmm. you recognize your mistake. This is a beginning. A small one. Okay. Okay. On the path to... <laughs> Wait. Is Tusk going to be happy that Halson's back? Well, at least the sun is nice. You should try it. Lay down and bask in his warmth. I'm not bothered about his mate now, is he? <laughs> right, let's go. Uh, let's speak to Wrath and get some loot. And, uh, oh god, they've not cleaned up this mess here. <laughs> Wrath, where are you at? Seems like a good moment to talk. You've done it. You brought House in back. Thank you. No, thanks is not enough. May Sylvanus bless you for all your days. I cannot imagine taking on a camp full of goblins was a simple task. Mm, ooh. It was a hell full of blood and ash. <laughs> oh, I'm just here for the reward. Oh, no, okay. I'm going number three. To be expected. I'm glad you survived intact. Mm -hmm. And I promised you a reward, didn't I? Let me show you on your map where you can find the cash. Take this rune. You'll need it. Place it among the pedestals inside our library. When the wolf glows brightest, everything in the vault below will be yours. Brilliant. Okay, thank you very much, Rath. Does Karga have anything to say? Sylvanas, keep you. Okay, she's... She's, uh... Committed to reforming, I suppose. Oh, the bird's up and going. Healed bird. Oh! Is the bird all better now? Wing's still a little stiff. But I'm getting stronger. Oh, that's great. Okay, netty. Little Miss Poison Ivy. Blessed day. I was worried I'd never see Master Halson again. Mm -hmm. You kept your word. Thank you. <laughs> You're just lucky I didn't swig that poison. Ha! <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. I didn't know what to do when you told me about that tadpole. Okay. You know what? Just because... No, I mean, oh, but she was just doing what she thought was best, isn't it? I'm still waiting for an apology for trying to kill me. Uh, I am sorry for that, but the whole grove was at risk. That side eye. <laughs> Kira's just gonna say you're welcome. I don't know if I can ever restore Sylvanas' peace to this place. But I'll have the chance, thanks to you. Okay, <laughs> if you're kind of bad for making her part. <gasps> oh, fucking hell, I thought. I thought the bird had died! <laughs> oh no, it's exhausted! <laughs> oh no! Well, you know what? Okay, there you go. And she's off. Uh, genuinely thought the bird had dropped dead there. Oh my. Okay, um. Oh, are these? Oh. Okay, nothing stealing now. It's okay, but that that room's still all okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this because it's highlighted in orange. Actually, you know what? We'll add this to our library. Why not? Not the pipe though. Uh, and we'll take this. And I can take that oh, dagger. Uh, the drow is still red. Okay. Well, that's fine. 
We have a bunch of uh, tablets to look at. That's a book there. Soul Coins. We've read the Soul Coins treatise already. Missives of Candle Keep. Pretty sure we've read all these. Personal account. In Catherick, I see our failures made manifest. He did not fall, he was pushed. His grief was twisted by shadow, and still we did not act until his light was all but snuffed. Ooh, whose personal account is that, eh? Is it, is it Halson's? No, it would, I feel like it would say it, it would be Halson's. Probably one of the druids from back then. Uh, another Soul Coins book. Magic of Leaf. I think we've read that one. Let's just loot everything in this room, not go in that room. Just grab all this. A long list of Albert sightings in the region, separated by date, the latest entry written a 10 day ago says Cub, the word is underlined several times. Yeah, we've, uh, we've hopefully rescued the Cub. Uh, missives of Candle Keep. Let's see, this order. Yeah, okay. Uh, I did not pick up that bully wug. It's fine. Don't need it. Yeah, I'll just take all these. These are all repeats. Why am I picking them up? Who knows? <laughs> Why not? It's free stuff, I suppose. <laughs> uh, free books. We take it. Okay. Activate this. Better not be we'll Activate all the runes. Grab the loot from downstairs, and then we'll head back to camp. Broken, but not too bad. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, we have, we have it. Oh no, we uh, they deactivated. So close to the next level. Okay, I know what I might be able to do to um, to fix that. Uh, let's go down here first. Maybe this will do it. Actually, secret societies of the Salt Coast exposed. Mine. Ooh, very good stash of potions there. We will search all the vases in this room. As many as I can click anyway. Excuse me. Trunk. Ooh. Robe of Summer. Grants resistance to cold damage. I don't think I need that. Send that to camp though. Okay, we'll take Sorrow. Note say, the Emerald Enclave won't send help even if I asked. This land is wounded and the rot is deep, but it's deep everywhere. I can't wait for help to come, but perhaps I need not face the darkness alone. Okay, that will go to our library, and I think that's everything in this room. So let us go to the Blighted Village. So I think this is where we will want to continue after the long rest but for now we'll go to camp perfect um right let us do a bit of camp cleanup and do our rounds speaking to everyone i don't know if lazel is actually gonna be mad at us for um she might be mad at us that we missed zoru might be just a wee bit annoyed, but you know, she just has to deal with it. We'll send this antidote to camp. We'll give this elixir to Gale. I don't need that one. We'll give these to Astarian. That goes to Astarian. I think that can go to camp to be honest. What does it do? Her sorrowful lash pulls the creature three meters closer to you. No, I don't need that. Off the camp you go. We have a ton of books to read. Dai can go to camp. Um, yeah, I think that's that. OK. 
Okay, let us. I'm just gonna toss these over to Astarian here. And we can read all those lovely, lovely pieces of literature that we've picked up with Astarian as well. Um, also, just a thought if you're here listening to this, if you would like to comment, um, because we, we, we haven't gone to the point of no return yet, we're quite far from it in fact, but since I'm still in this region, if anyone here wants to see me um, proceed with Oscar Fevras, the artist, uh, with the Zentarim, if anyone wants to actually see that quest or watch that quest in uh, a future episode much down the line, if we even survive that long, uh, feel free to comment below if you would like me to save him or at least attempt to save him because I'll be honest with you, I'm not bothered uh, <laughs> to do that. I've tried it once with saving him and I've tr also done it without saving him, so I know what both situations look like. Um, and I'm honestly just not going to by default, but if it is something that people are interested in uh, in seeing, if we survive that long, uh, I'm happy to give it a shot. I'm happy to do it and include it as part of the, uh, the playthrough. But even from a... Um, story standpoint like uh just for the plot and whatnot i actually don't mind <laughs> that don't mind not saving him like it's no uh no what's the saying no skin off my bones um so yeah but if that's something you're interested in just feel free to drop a comment below if you desperately want to see what that quest looks like or if you want to see me suffer really uh, <laughs> And let's give this to... Oh my days, you can just do it like this as well. It's brilliant, I love that. Okay, cool. Um, let's read all this before we tuck them away. Disorders of the nerves and mind, a treaty. Treat treatise? Treatise, I think that's how you pronounce it. Oh, I don't think we've read this one. There came to me a woman whom I shall henceforth call R, greatly distraught at the unusual tempers of her husband whom I shall henceforth call B. Three months prior, he'd suffered night sweats, crying out from sleep that he bore the mark of chaos. Two months prior, he'd taken to calling himself by the name Saravog. One month ago, he'd speak of a little else but the throne for which he is destined. I attended to B at the couple's farmhouse. He sat calmly at the table, an unknown book clutched to his chest. I detected no curse nor loathsome spirit upon him, nor the presence of magic. Yet upon shining the light of candle flame upon him, he raised the book high and exclaimed, The deaths they, will, they, they bring shall awaken the father, and through them he will rise. I snatched the book from his hand and flung it into the hearth, where it burned not in red or yellow flame, but pure black. It left but a single scrap reading. He foresaw his coming death and seeded his essence across the land. B shivered and sighed as if walked as if waking from nightmare, he had no memory of the book nor the words he had spoken. Diagnosis, unspecified neurotic enthrallment, treatment, herbal tincture of garlic and drace sipped thrice daily until exhaustion lifts. Garlic will cure all. <laughs> the druid note, I think we've read this. Yes. Uh, Halson's journal, I think we've read this actually in previously. Uh, hastily, re hastily written note. We have read it. We have read it. Magic of the Weave, an introduction. Have we read this? I think we have. Actually, let me check. Um... Oh, I cannot pick that up. Can I search? There's no search function here, is there? Um, is this alphabetical? It is. I think. Okay, we have read that. Missives of Candle Keep. Pretty sure we've. We have that one, don't we? Hang on. Why are my eyes. Have we not read Missives of Candle Keep? 
I guess not. Okay, a select collection of the most notable letters sent from Candlekeep. Many are dry reports of celestial movements or incomprehensible details of arcane rituals. However, this letter catches your eye. To the sage Alminster, over the past year I've delivered many of your letters to Master Gorion, so I wanted to be the one to deliver this sad news. Alas, he is with us no more. Gorion and his ward left Candlekeep soon after your last letter to him arrived. They departed in the middle of the night, but were waylaid shortly after on the road to Ber Beragost. The gate warden tells me that Gorion saw to it that several of his attackers joined him in the next world before he was struck down. I hope this brings you the same grim comfort it brings me. Of his ward, there was no sign. In some better news, I received your letter to the library and was able to find much of the material you requested. It was it has been carefully secured and will travel with this letter. Yours in honour, Tristan P. Shale, librarian at Candlekeep. P.S. I hope you'll forgive my curiosity, but might I ask, why do you need so much information about ball spawn? What exactly are you working on? Whoa, okay. Okay. Notes on Drought Parasite, we have read that. Oral histories. Oh. Oral histories. Uh, Faith Breaker. Ooh, do we not have that? Gith and the Mind Flayers. This book comprises several chapters, one for each cited source. It claims to contain first-hand transcriptions of the oral histories of several storytellers throughout the realm. Chapter 4, Paladar the Swift, 700 years of age, a wood elf storyteller hailing from the Wood of Sharp Teeth. It took me several ten days of quiet habitation in the wood before the venerable Pelador felt comfortable revealing his presence to me. The longer I stayed, demonstrating I was no threat to his health and peace, the more open he was to gentle inquiry. This tale, relayed to me on a chilly morning as we stoked a small fire between us, was like none I had heard before or since. I asked if it was if it were fiction, and he insisted emphatically that it was as true as his own right eye. Long ago, before my eyes and years, before your lonesome quill, dear scribe, there was an empire of people, or perhaps only belief, an empire of brain eaters, soul wasters. They called themselves illithids, the, the flayers of minds. The children of Gith were bowed, bent in service to the flayers, a passionate people, made to serve a cold belief. The flayers were untouchable, their minds a great oppressor. No proud will or passion could break Gith's, could break Gith's children free. Until at last a reckoning, its source unknown, its power unproven, but its events history-making. The cowed would not be cracked. Gith's children fought back valiantly, their freedom theirs, the flayers bent and broken till today. Ooh, okay, we've got the, uh, the Gith Yankee here. Uh, the Paladin Oathbreakers, I think we have read that. Yep, we've read that one. Personal account, we've read that in the uh, library itself. Secret societies of the Sword Coast expose. We have not read that one. Okay. Harbors, the most well-known of the Sword Coast's cabals, perhaps, but certainly not benign in its shrouded doings. My sources claim that those belonging to this mysterious faction abhor power, but if that is so, why do they not expose the revelations of their inquiries for the public good? Why, indeed, because knowledge is power and the Harpers intend to keep both for themselves. Ooh, okay. I don't remember it seeming so sinister. Not sinister, but you know what I mean. Um, shadow druids weigh the life of a man against that of a sapling oak. Which do you value more highly? Ask a shadow druid the self-same question and be shocked by their answer. This dangerous group utterly disregards intelligent life in favour of the life of plants and insects. Their perversion of the natural order leads them to plan and execute plots so dastardly that the mere description of one would leave you glancing sideways at your begonias. <laughs> <laughs> Love the ending of that. The Order of Clerd, the least known and accordingly most dangerous of the secret societies I have researched, is the Order of Clerd. My sources tell me this shadowy conspiracy of murderers, mutilators, and tyrants regularly meet to plan the demise of any number of innocent citizens of our fair land. What's more, they like it. Who the heck is Clerd? Dark Justiciers, I shudder even to inscribe their name upon the purity of this page. I shall leave it at this. They worship Shah. Oh my days. Oh, can you imagine if... I don't know if there is a way that Shadowheart wouldn't tell you that she's a Shah worshipper, but imagine if you had found this book before she revealed that. That, that would be something, right? At least to someone like me who doesn't have like a really, really in-depth like knowledge of D&D law and things like that. Right, um... Soul Coins, a treatise. I think we've 
read that? Have we not? Oh, yes, yes, we have. There we go. Um, the realm according to Bumpo. Okay, so we have read that. What was in this one? The space hamsters. No, it was the, uh, the different folk, yes. Traveler's Guide to the Sword Coast, Volume 9. I want to say that's 9. Yes, Inns and Guest House. Uh, Trappers, we have we have volume. Okay, now we have we have eight, so now we have volume nine. With the dust of their journey still clinging to boot and cloak, the canny traveller will no doubt seek to secure accommodation within the city, post haste. Below are some establishments that are typical of what the city has to offer. The Blade and Stars, easily identified by its sign, a wooden shield boasting a curved blade against a field of stars. A handwritten scrawl in the margins notes that the sign is currently not in place. This inn is comfortable, quiet, and highly recommended for travellers seeking to recuperate from their journey. Expect unassuming fare at a reasonable price, moderately clean rooms, and passively clean patrons. The Blade and Stars. I don't remember that, but maybe we should look for it in Act 3. The Blushing Mermaid. For those seeking an altogether rowdier night in the city, the Blushing Mermaid should be the first port of call. Named for the life-size life wooden mermaid on display, this inn is known for all its ill-reputed patrons, frequent brawls, and altogether unsavoury reputation. Nevertheless, I feature it here owing to great interest from my readership. I can only advise that you exercise extreme vigilance should you choose this establishment. Okay. <laughs> Elf Song Tavern. Most of this passage is illegible due to water damage, apart from the words and phrases nearest to the inner margins. Dimly lit, proprietor Allen, this embodied elvish singing voice. What? Okay. Never knew or noticed that. Maybe I've just completely forgotten. It's been a while since I've been to Act 3. Uh, and then we have this, like, piece of poem, I think. Your axe got broke. McGloviet, your axe got broke. Your whips don't sting, your priests all croaked. Show your face and we'll take your eyes, then chop you down to goblin size. The Absolute will make you kneel, beg and grovel, bleed and squeal. Damn, alright, Absolute just coming through and already they got some, uh, some literature on them. Well, you know, it goes to show what happens when you get, like, fanatics for your following. Right, uh, let us put all these... Oh, 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 no, don't do that. Uh, oh, okay, no, hang on, hang on, sorry. I want a different um, a different case for uh, stone tablets, so I'm actually going to use that one here. So we're going to put tablets and any, um, I forgot what they're called, Githyanki slates, I think they're called. Uh, we're going to put all those into the uh, into that other crate and then these will stay here. Perfect. Nice. Okay, that's done, and now we can do, we'll do, um, not that, why do I care about opening that? Uh, we'll do camp cleanup. Okay, perfect, so let's see which one's the, this one is the unsorted one. I'm sorry if you've been hearing taps, by the way, this, uh, this session today, I don't know what it is. I'm trying I'm looking at my desk to see what I've done different. I think my keyboard may be a little bit further to the right today for some reason. And my mouse I keep tapping it by accident. I don't know what it sounds like yet. I have not listened to the uh the recording, but if I uh if you don't hear anything and think why is she crazy because I hear nothing, it's because I've edited it in post. <laughs> So you may not hear the taps, and I may be apologizing for nothing here. Uh, but I'm just not sure if I will be able to edit it in post, so... Um, so we'll, we'll see if I'm crazy or not. Uh, alcohol goes here. Let's see what we've picked up along the way. So we are going to look at... What have we got? Have we got any cooked? We've got tons of cooked food, actually. Um, Oh, there's one more. There's a there's a mug of there's a pitcher of beer, and the alcohol's done. All right, let's do let's do let's do cooked food next. Um, but yeah, no, I am. Uh, I've I've really missed doing camp cleanup. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is to me very very therapeutic, and I uh, I do want to shout out 
some of the fellow Camp Tidy Up enjoyers in, uh, in the comments. I really, really appreciate you leaving the, the very, very kind words. And it's always nice to meet fellow, uh, fellow adventurers who enjoy cleaning up camp supplies. I, I think it's just, for me, very, very therapeutic, very satisfying. There's just something about it that um, scratches a very unique and specific itch, at least for me. Um, yeah. Also, yesterday, uh, one of my mates actually picked up the game and started their first playthrough. I'm so I, I had they were streaming it on uh, on Twitch and I had such a blast watching them play the game for the first time. It brought back memories of my first run and my first playthrough. Um, which I wish I had recorded almost, but to be honest, I, I think that I am very happy that I didn't do it uh, on record or on stream. It was, it was nice to actually just enjoy it as is. Um, and also, my, I mean my very, my actual first playthrough. Oh, I forgot that piece of cheese. Uh, my actual first playthrough um, was a, a multiplayer session which uh, unfortunately I didn't get to complete, so might not have been the best recording anyway. It was a little bit chaotic to say the least. Uh, okay, um, I think that's it. Shall we do a quick round of dialogue check to see if the party has anything to say before we actually hit that long, like before we end the day, because once we do that, the, the tieflings will be here. Tell me, what can I do for you? Uh, I think they won't have anything to say. Yeah, based off Gale, let's just use Astarian as a um, to just to make sure. Yes. Yeah. Okay. They have nothing to say, so we are going to just end the day here. I believe we are already all set to do that. Yeah, we are. Okay, we're gonna end the day and start the uh, party. Eyes in the seat. You have so many things. I am. Make a dragon. No, no. An album. Okay. Listen. Okay, listen. Okay. We have Roma. We have romance in Gale. This run. In fact, if Gale is a romance option, we will always romance Gale. Okay, I'm just gonna put this out there now because I, I, I find it in, improbable. Let's put it that way to resist. However, we're not actually with Gale, are we? <laughs> I'm gonna be very cheeky here. Hyper, hyper, mega cheeky behavior. And I'm gonna I'm gonna actually play the field a little bit. <laughs> because we this is already hang on, let me let me be very self-indulgent here. Okay, so this is already honor mode, no multi-classing, right? That's our main challenge, okay? But another mini challenge that I want to do is I actually would love to get these three, Gale, Astarian, and Shadowheart in particular, up to exceptional 100, like by the time we finish the game. That is, and with Gale and Astarian being in the same party is actually <laughs> a relatively tough challenge since sometimes, especially in Act 1, they completely oppose each other on what they approve and disapprove on. Um... So I need a little bit of a boost for Astarin, as we can see, because Gale is very happy with us. He's fine. He loves us, okay? So, and we love him. Um, Shadowheart's also relatively happy with us, too. Astarin, on the other hand, he's okay. As we can see, the game is saying, relationship is fair. Character's trust in Avatar is variable. So, if our dear vampire man <laughs> offers anything to us tonight... We will accept, okay? <laughs> we will accept. <laughs> Let's see what he has to say. Because I think if I speak to anyone else at all, uh, I will lose my shots. So I'm going to speak to Astarian first. I usually will speak to Gale first, but he doesn't have an exclamation mark over his head. So, hello, Astarian. You know, I never pictured myself as a hero. Never thought I'd be the one they'd toast for saving so many lives. And 
Now that I'm here... I hate it. This is awful. <laughs> You're such an asshole, Estarian. Uh, you know, let's, let's, uh... Let's just cheer him up a bit. It's not that bad. Think of all the goblins you killed. True. That was fun. Still, I would have liked more for my trouble than a pat on the head and vinegar for wine. Uh, we're gonna take his bottle and try the wine here. It's a heavy, rich red. Dry and sharp. See what I mean? Awful. All I want is a little fun. Is that so much to ask? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, you know what? It might ruin our chances, but I've never picked option two before, so I'm going to actually pick it because I would love to hear what the dialogue response is. Uh, that had better not mean I want to kill something. <laughs> Nothing so dramatic. Just you and me and, well, maybe a little death. Figuratively speaking. <gasps> Let's wait until things quieten down. Once the others are asleep, we'll find each other. Oh my, okay. All right, let's do it. I'll see you later. Indeed you will, my love. Indeed you will. Okay, him. Okay, I am actually so glad that I picked that dialogue option just then. Hang on, let's uh, let's recap a little. There we go. What was it mean? Where was it? That had better not mean I want to kill something. The fact that he used the phrase a little death, because if you, I'm sure many of you do know, but in case you didn't know, uh, a little death is also like a uh, metaphor for the big O. So. <laughs> That was very eloquent. I mean, I shouldn't be surprised. Look, I'm mean, bloody reading all the time. Uh, okay, so now let's speak to Gail. I don't know if Gail's gonna get upset that we spoke to Astarian about that, but let's see. Beautiful night, don't you think? Nothing like a brush with destruction to make one appreciate the majesty of a celestial canvas. It's a view I would once have shared with my companion. Though definitely unaccompanied by such revelry. She preferred it when we were alone. Curled up before a crackling hearth with some ancient esoteric tome between us. Ink glinting in the firelight. <laughs> I hope you aren't talking about Mistra again. By a Geron's lost nose! No! <laughs> I speak of Tara. My Tressim, assistant, my constant companion through all the ills and tribulations my hubris has thrust upon me. She'd be most impressed by our efforts saving these tieflings. Proud, even. And I've given her little to be proud of recently. After I was afflicted with my condition, I locked myself in my tower for an entire year. It was inconsolable, wallowing in my self inflicted tragedy. Given up on myself, but Tara never did. It was her encouragement, her research that led me to my treatment. Once we knew that magically infused items were the key, she went out to find them for me. She saved my life. After so long being cared for by someone else, it feels good to have repaid the favor. Not directly to Tara, but to these poor tieflings. I'm sure she would approve. Huh. I've I've heard this dialogue before, but not maybe my my amazing, blessed, poor memory has gifted me <laughs> a new experience once more. Um Let's see, let's go with uh Let's go with what is what's Tara like? You remind me of her somewhat. An expression you both share. When she gives in to her more feline qualities. A mouse trapped beneath her paw. <laughs> Wish she were here for me to make a formal introduction. 
But I would never ask her to undertake such a journey. She's safer at home. Besides, she was always telling me I needed to spread my wings, so to speak. Find mortal friends instead of hanging onto Mistress' coattails. So that's what I'm doing. I hope. He's so cute. Um, <laughs> bad luck on that front. I'm actually a nymph in disguise. Now, I have done this before and I do love this dialogue here. <laughs> Very funny. But as we all know, nymphs are sticklers when it comes to their bathing routines. You, my friend, haven't been near a fresh spring in a ten day or more. Not that I don't appreciate your... musk. Actually rather like it. Well, this seems as good a time as any for me to stop babbling on. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's so good. Um, <laughs> uh, let's go with... Don't stop now. What else do you like about me? <laughs> Were I to recite that list, I fear we'd be here at dusk tomorrow. Many things, I assure you. But a conversation better saved for another time. With my condition as volatile as it is, I fear any undue excitement may tip it over the edge, so to speak. Go, indulge in the frivolities. They're good for the heart. And mine will be all the lighter to see you enjoying yourself. Oh, bless. Okay. Bye-bye, Gail. We already had our magical night previously. Um, so, understandable. Alright, let's speak to the rest of our companions. Uh, let's go down the list. So, we'll go with Shadowheart and then we'll go to everyone else who uh, has chilled in camp. Shadowheart. Everyone seems to be in high spirits. I saw you with the Starion. You two looked cozy. Far be it from me to judge. Blood must still be running a little hot after everything. Strange. You know who I never thought I'd find myself caring for? Hmm. You know what? I'm not gonna be presumptuous and say I don't know. Desperate people. Refugees. Never gave them much thought. Certainly not that bunch in the grove. Hmm. Yet we came through for them. We saved their lives. Odd. Hmm. Not so odd, we did the right thing. That's more easily said by some than others. But nobody's here to debate right from wrong. Share a bottle with me? Mm hmm. I'd be glad to. I won't keep you long. I gather you've already made plans with someone for your evening. Oh, my days. Oh. God, I am so tempted to say yes to Shadowheart because she is beautiful. The struggle of this game is not the honor mode. It is <laughs> who do we romance? <laughs> because honestly, Shadowheart, I do love, I love all of them. I love all the companions and I just like every time I play, I'm, oh, good Lord. Okay, you know what? We'll just, we'll, we'll stick with our plan. Oh God, scratch. <laughs> we'll stick with our plan and we are going to, um, we're playing the field with Astarian and I don't want to play the field with Shadow. I don't want to play her, you know. Um, and not, not that I want to play Astarian either. It's just his approval rating needs to go up. So uh, I've arranged some company. Yes, it could be a long evening. Nah. Some liquid courage. And try to get some rest too if you can. Tomorrow's another day. Oh, Shadow Heart. Oh, God. That is just. She's so lovely about it too. That's the thing. Oh, one day I'll romance Shadow Heart and Karlek and Will and Lazel. I think I will have to. Uh, I think I'll have to play as Gail for that to happen, to be honest. Oh, no. Will is still a. Uh, Oh, Will is still here. Oh, Will. Come on. Tucked away in this corner. Yeah, hells. I was hoping you wouldn't notice I was gone. Yeah, I noticed. Of course I noticed. There was no party without you. Really? I'm honored. 
In truth, I don't feel in a festive mood, and I didn't want to cast a grey cloud over the night. I'm a devil. I love the people from the grove, but I unsettle them deep down, as I seem to unsettle everyone nowadays. You don't want a devil at your party. Horns this sharp will pop the balloons, you see, and the guests won't take kindly to scars quite so monstrous. Uh, not to laugh at your plight, Will, but you realise that this party is full of tieflings and you are speaking to a tiefling. <laughs> Uh, I, honestly, number three, come on, you're exaggerating. Not that much has changed. But I, you know what? I don't want to diminish his how upset he is. Because as much as, yes, we're all tieflings, but we're born that way, but he wasn't. So, yeah, sorry it has you feeling rough tonight. I'll be fine. Seeing you has cheered me more than you can know. But... Off with you. This is your day. Have a dance. Enjoy the music. Yeah, we're going to... Uh, we're going to respect his... Uh, give him his space, you know. I wish you were there, but I'll respect your need for peace. Sometime alone beneath the stars, and I'll be back to my old self. Promise. Still, it's a night to remember. You've made sure of that. Oh, bless. Poor Will. Well, you know. Well, just sometimes you just need time to... Time for yourself and time to digest with everything that's gone on. Okay, uh, we have... Let's speak to Karlek, actually. Let's speak to Karlek. Kind of wish that our party members... Now that I'm looking at it, I, I'm noticing it. Uh, kind of wish that our party members would, like, mingle with the uh, the tieflings as well. I'm sure there's a uh, more like technical reason why they've done this. Or maybe just for the sake of convenience actually, to, to have it easier to find them, but you know, would have been nice. Or maybe if they can't, if they can't mingle, maybe have the, uh, the tieflings Ooh, mingle with them. Uh, no, okay, Carlek. Would you look at this place? All these people, happy because of us. It's nice to be somewhere where good is still possible. Speaking of possibilities, what's this I've been hearing about you and Astarion? Thank God. Don't get me wrong. I'd ride him to the Feywild and back if I had the chance, but I wouldn't let my guard down around him. Good to see the two of you getting along anyway. At least one of us is getting a little action. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Um... You know what, I don't know if I want to bring up Averna since it's, it's potentially a sore spot here. So I'm going to ask, are you enjoying yourself? Fuck yes. I'm celebrating my freedom and our friendship and these folks bright future besides. All I need now is a fire retardant lover to get lost in till sunrise. <laughs> oh, bless. Ooh. Ah, uh, you know, I don't want to ask this just because of the Avernus thing, but I am desperate to hear the dialogue, so let's let's go for it. Did you have parties like this in Avernus? Not so much. You spend the whole time avoiding swords and schemes. Plus, people just get nastier as the night wears on. I tried to make friends at first. Learned my lesson fast. Better to keep to yourself in hell. Oh, man, that's actually a really sad answer. Um, okay, we're not going to string anyone along again. Um, so enjoy yourself tonight, Karlek. You too, soldier. Enjoy yourself tonight. You've earned it. Oh, I could hug her. And I will when we get the chance to. Uh, right. Let us speak to... Now we can actually speak to everyone else. Oh, uh, no, Lazel. Sorry, my bad. Lazel. Is she even going to be happy that we're having a party? I have seen the Kithraki tear a screaming Neogi's legs from its belly to fashion into blades. Yet, they could not match your nerve today. It was enough to drive me to madness. A pity for us you have promised your body to Astarian. 
I hope for your sake he doesn't come too near your neck. <laughs> well, Lazelle, I've got news for you. He does that every night. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you know what? Let's compliment her for being a gifted warrior. I know she didn't help us, like, defeat the goblins, but in spirit, you know? <laughs> I'm grateful for your aid. You're a really gifted warrior. Vlakith demands of me no less. Hmm. If only I might lay claim to my proper trophy. Come morning, you will wonder. Oh, my. You will wonder how my lips might have tasted, how my fingers on your skin might have felt. Oh, but do enjoy yourself this night. I intend to myself. Will looks particularly tempting. Okay, enjoy your night with Will. <laughs> Sorry, Lazel, but Gail's here. I mean, I know everyone's... Man, the, the, the word, around, word around camp goes, goes fast, huh? Like... <laughs> The whole Astarian thing. Halson, hello. Go on now. Don't waste a night like this talking to me. We'll discuss your problem tomorrow. Um. I thought you might care to have a drink with me. In truth, I rarely imbibe. The stuff goes right to my head. Before you know it, I'd be breaking into song or declaring love to the first person I laid eyes on. Um, I failed to see the problem. Then you have never heard me singing, which makes you very fortunate. Oh, I don't really want to flirt with Halson. That being said, I, you know, hard to resist. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. It's just number two so dry. <laughs> Okay, you know what? We'll, we'll 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 pick number one. Perhaps there's something else you'd rather do then. Just replace the uh, ellipses with a question mark. That would have actually, <laughs> that would have basically helped it. Okay, number one. Hmm, I'm sure there are. You strike me as extremely resourceful. But there are many grateful people here who want to spend time with you. I must not keep you all to myself, as enjoyable as that may be. Go on, oh, enjoy yeah. yourself. Seek out some wine before it runs dry. There are a lot of thirsty people around here. <laughs> I love that line so much. <laughs> Zevlo, hello. Look at Zevlo having a drink, eh? Let's go. Oh, why can't I speak to him? Oh no! Okay. I should be out there. There's a okay. bug. Okay, so. Just a minute, I. Maybe. I don't know why this happens. Um. But I think I can do this. There we go. You have no idea how good it feels to see these people smiling. The singing we could probably do without. But even so. Thank you. What's wrong with the singing, Zevlaw? Look at Scratch. Oh, bless him. Okay, let's speak to Mole. So we have to do this now because of this uh, weird bug that's happening. You came through for us. That's a change from most adults, I know. Mm. <laughs> I like number three. That sounded dangerously close to a compliment. And that sounds like the wine drowning your wits. Go on, enjoy yourself. I've squirreled away a few extra bottles. When the barrel's tapped out, I'll be there to save the night. For a price, of course. <laughs> what an enterprising young lady. Right, let's uh, let's make our way. Look at it, look at it. Oh no, that's so cute. <laughs> oh, Scratch is getting all the scratches as he deserves. Hi, Alfira. You're alive. <laughs> oh no, I forgot about the thing. All right, Alfira. Hello. This might be the wine talking, but I'm feeling inspired. Thinking of writing my next song about you. 
but I need an angle. Any ideas? She is so cute. Um, <laughs> if I hear my name in the song, your life is forfeit. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, this line hits so different. Um, you know. <laughs> Let's go with let's go with the tiefling option here because you know they've been through a whole lot. So sing about our people. We deserve it. After Elturel, I think you're right. Faerun deserves to see us as we really are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, Lacrissa. Hope you're enjoying the night, hero. I certainly am. Cheers to many more like this. Oh bless. Okay. Love that. And then let's speak to... Oh, my days. Icaron. I think he's the grumpy one, right? Not Grex. Icaron. Look at them all. Guzzling poison like we've the right to be happy. <laughs> all right, Grumplepuss. Um, are you this unpleasant by nature or choice? <laughs> no, let's convince him to have a pint then. Uh, you should join them. Have a pint or two. Right. Uh, okay, we need a two here. Oh, well, calculated. Absolutely. Perfect roll there. Hmm. Perhaps it'll make the evening more tolerable. Oh god, he is unpleasant. Fucking hell. Okay. Um, <laughs> does Withers actually have anything to say, like, party-wise? Thy wheel of fate turns ever to the dark. Oh my. <laughs> Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection instead? No, I'm alright with this. <laughs> it's okay. If we if we survive this run, we will have the most fly and lit party that I mean he will throw us the most lit party ever, so uh, understandable that he has nothing to say now. Uh, let's speak to Roland. Oh no, this goddamn bug. Okay, let's speak to Roland. Patience? Have you no respect for showmanship? Having performance issues, Roland. Hush you. And behold! Let's clap. Adoring applause? You're too kind. Remember when he could barely cast that? They grow up so fast. Never have I met such troglodytes. Now, pass the wine. <laughs> oh, bless. Okay, um, let's speak to Cal. Oh, my days, Try Cal. Try not to get too close, Cal. Yes. Remember what happened last time? <gasps> I was eight, and you magicked up a kitten. How was I supposed to know it was made of fire? About... <laughs> That's cute. Never heard that dialogue before. Are Roland and Leah actually getting along? I know you cut down a horde of goblins, but this is far more impressive. <laughs> Leah? That's my... Look at them. How happy they are. We did that. How about the three of you having fun? Yeah. Don't tell Roland, but his magic show might be the highlight. He's been doing them since we were little. He'll make it big in Baldur's Gate. I know it. Oh, it's so sweet. Okay, speak to Bex. I need to dance. No, no, I need to lie down. <laughs> and Dennis? Just Sherry. That's infernal for cheers. Or possibly turnip. Okay, judging by my reaction, I think it might be turnip. Uh, right. Oh, did we speak to Grex? Can't remember, actually. Think of it. No more caves. No more tents. No more running away. We'll be in a city with roads and markets and homes. Oh, my days. He seems like he's a Nothing thespian. Like, I, I don't mean that in a bad way. He's very, he's very, like, charming. Uh, right, I think that's everyone spoken to. So let us do this bit. I actually think I won't be providing commentary for the romance options. 
uh, romance cinematics. Um, yeah, I'm going to. I will. I think I will actually keep silent for the. Uh, or as silent as I can be. I don't know. That's not a promise. I may. I may go back on this, but we'll see what happens. We'll just see. We'll just see how it goes. All right. Okay. Let's go to bed. Uh, auto select. Leave my lemon alone. Okay. Um, we need three. A butter bun will do. Actually, but the butter buns are so rare. Haven't we got a ton of carrots? Yeah, we do. Let's do a carrot here. All right, let's go full rest here. I think we've spoken to everyone. Yes. Okay, let's go for it. The buzz of celebration quiets to a soothing hum as you approach your bunk. Though you seek repose, you needn't spend the night alone. There is one who yearns for you in the dark. Who will you seek? Hmm. <gasps> oh no! The second option is so nice! <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna choose it, but oh, I wish I could. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's meet with Astarian. I don't want to leave him hanging. Imagine telling him we'll meet up and then not meeting him. Right. Who will I seek? Astarian. Your heart skips a beat. What treasures might this night bestow? There you are. I've been waiting. Waiting since the moment I set eyes on you. Waiting. To have you. You don't have me yet. Don't I? You're here. And I don't think you want to talk. I think you want to be known. To be tasted. And what do you want? What do any of us want? Pleasure. Yours. Mine. Our collective ecstasy. That's what you want, isn't it? To lose yourself in me. I thought so. Okay, <laughs> I, I will admit that I've never had the nudity hidden option before and <laughs> the little oak leaf for the maid, like the genitals is just a uh, it's, it's chef's kiss. I love that. <laughs> uh, okay, we are going to comment on his scars here. This is to progress his uh, personal storyline. So interesting scars. Where'd you get them? It's a poem, a gift from Casador. He considered himself quite the artist and used his slaves as a canvas. He composed and carved that one over the course of a night. He made a lot of revisions as he went. And we have this option because we are a tiefling. Why did he write it in Infernal? That's normally a devil's language. Infernal? I... Who knows? 
The bastard was insane. Anyway, enough pillow talk. Let's go before the tieflings drag us into another mess. Again. Oh. I trust you enjoyed your evening. After all your efforts, it was well deserved. It may be some time before you're afforded another such night. There is much to be done. And I promised I would help you however I could. I'm certain a cure for you can be found at Moonrise Towers, but it's complicated. The journey specifically, it's extremely perilous. Though it seems you're well accustomed to navigating danger. <laughs> Sorry, but <laughs> the level up sound <laughs> from waking up makes it seem like spending the night with Azdarian was, uh, gave us some XP points. It might have, I don't know. Uh, okay, uh, what's so dangerous about it? To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings, tormented, dangerous souls. Hmm. Uh, the absolute forces can tolerate such a place. So it seems, though I don't know how. You will have to choose your approach carefully. You could go overland, along the Risen Road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the Shadow Curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in the ruined Temple of Saluna. It leads to Moonrise Towers through the Underdark. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorm built a secret stronghold deep down there, before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicias, Shah worshippers. Dark Justicias? I must see for myself. Hmm. Aridan and his lot were looking for a way down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers. And maybe even bypass the worst of the Shadow Curse. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. I found the hidden entrance in the Temple of Saluna. The way is clear. Already? <laughs> If only I'd gone with you instead of Aradin. I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. I can offer my skills, my counsel. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. It seems our fates have aligned. You want to come to Moonrise as well? Why? Unfinished business, and a lifetime of regret to repair. I helped overthrow Ketherick Thorm and his Dark Justicias years ago. But I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. I spent years researching the curse, trying to put an end to it. Nothing has worked. Yet, if I can join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I can lift this curse. Same as you may find a cure for your infection. Hmm. Is that why you went with Aradin? You thought he might uncover this route to Moonrise? Precisely. Then perhaps I could have done something about both the Shadow Curse and Ceramorphosis aberrations. But in my eagerness, I put far too much faith in the abilities of Aradin and his band. We didn't even get close. Yeah, no shit. Uh, what about the Grove? I've chosen a successor as first druid, Francesca of the High Forest. A bird's already been dispatched to summon her. Who? <laughs> Precisely. Who indeed? You do not know and neither do any of the others. The Grove needs to move beyond the mistakes of the past. What it needs is an unknown quantity. An outsider who can enforce the Oak Father's teachings without bias. This is why I chose Francesca. She will restore simplicity and purity to the grove in my absence. Okay. Uh, yeah, very shrewd of you. 
contrary to how some think of us, we druids can play politics when necessary. Now, we've quite the journey ahead. Best get started. Indeed. Oh man, everyone leveled up from last night. What is this I have here? What? Enemy of justice? Wanted for killing a guard? Allied guards will attack on sight. Is this for the goblins? <laughs> I've not seen this before. Right, well, I guess that is something that we will have to figure out for the next time because this is where we will call it for today. Uh, I think this is a good place to end this session because our uh, we've actually been at this for quite a while. I've just looked at our playtime. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll figure that out next session. I don't think I've ever seen this before. I think it's for the goblins, but we'll see. We'll find out. So... Uh, if you want to actually find out along with us, you might already know the answer, but if you don't and you want to keep this mystery a mystery until next episode, um, consider subscribing to the channel. You know the drill. Uh, you can ring the bell if you want notifications. You, you don't have to ring the bell if you don't want notifications. All that all that good stuff. And of course, if you enjoyed this episode, I, I thought it was actually quite a, quite a nice session. If you enjoyed this session with us today, feel free to drop a like. And if you have anything you'd like to say about today's session or if you have something you want to point out for the rest of the playthrough, uh, feel free to drop a comment below. I do try to read and respond to as many comments as I can. Um, but yeah, I think it will be a very exciting next episode. We'll probably try to take on uh, some spiders. And then we'll also probably, if we have the time, uh, explore Auntie Ethel's uh, lair. So that's going to be very exciting. So follow us along. Um, if you're still here listening to this, uh, thank you very much for joining us for on our speedless shenanigans in Faerun. And I hope that I'll see you again for the next one. All right. Take care, be good, and don't forget to brush your teeth. Bye.